Is there an animal that you're dying to work with, but for whatever reason you can't? Like a lion. I'm very worried to say, though, with your sort of listener base in case I end up with a box coming to the studio. 100%. With... Someone will hook you up. Yeah, like, exactly. I said I wanted to try DMT. Someone just gave me a load. Amazing. Great. Yeah. I, I, I tried to get a bag of dead cats off the local cat sanctuary a few years ago. <laughs> And I said a to them, a bag of dead cats. Well, how would you cats. measure them like a bucket of cats? <laughs> <laughs> a wheelbarrow. A trough. You know what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, <laughs> that's how they sell monkeys, isn't it? That. <laughs> Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Hello, welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, him a, a big, big fat cunt, and a uh, little not gay Tom. We've also got Jack Devaney, and I fucking remembered. You fuck did you. remember it. I, was I did remember. Got it. We have... Uh, Who's Jack Devaney? What's he do? What's the thing? He's a fucking weirdo who interferes with corpses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Is, is that is that an accurate description? Yeah, it's all right. I'll say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. what better guest to have to mark uh, Hamas invading Israel? <laughs> is that what you're starting with? Yeah. <laughs> why are we? Why no? Why are we? We're not waded into that, we're are not, we? Hey, let's hope everyone gets along fine. Yeah. Yeah. That was what well, because I don't know anything about like anything further than south of France. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not asked about. Yeah. I'm more concerned about bed bugs in France that I am about. Right. Because I don't know anybody over there, so I don't care. Do you know what I mean? The French don't even seem like they're concerned about bed bugs, though. They're too busy. They're not even in bed. Are they rioting? Yeah. Are they? They're still... What are they kicking off about now? They're, they're always asses. fighting. I'm always <laughs> seeing videos of them online just scrapping in streets and that. Which yeah. I like. It's I've never known what it's about. It's why they don't fucking get fucked over like we do. Yeah, it's weird they've got this, like, uh, they've got a weird twin reputation. It's like massive pussies, but also, like, every other week they're kicking off and, like, burning everything down. And it's like... But it's know. like a domestic abuser, though, isn't it? Like, at the pub and that, they'll be quite quiet, but they go home and beat the shit out of the kids <laughs> and wife because they know they'll win. Inside their own country, yeah. 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 It's basically whatever PSG lose. Yeah. Yeah, that 4-1 Newcastle. Oh, geez, Mind you, though, that's a, that, that's a tough one because if either team lose, some woman's getting slapped, aren't they? What, just... What? <laughs> it's uh, either the French kicking yeah. off rioting or just Geordie culture, innit? Yeah. Hey, anyway, hey, and that links back time. to... I'm not sure. It's a very uh, tricky piece of kit to work out. Yeah, we've got a very complicated new bit of kit and Tom's very dumb. Yeah, so yeah. those two things are colliding quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could fix it. It's fine. We'll fix it in post. Yeah. What do you think about Israel and Palestine, Tom? Have you got an informed opinion? Um, do you have I'm... a favourite side? Oh. Yeah, which team are you on? Are you supporting? Yeah. Uh, uh, cut me and I bleed. Israel? <laughs> you're a big Israel fan, are you? Big Israel fan. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been into Israel? Because you're not one of these glory supporters since they've just yeah. been well, winning in the last couple of days. Real, Real Israel. <laughs> the first time I went, I had a half and half scarf. Yeah. Um, oh, but, no one likes that. No. Yeah. But now I'm pure Israel, baby. Oh. I don't understand anywhere near enough, but I watched it on the news and I was like, it's probably not good. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Palestine ultra, I'm afraid, mate. So it's fucking going off. All right. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Up the Palestine. I, uh, I, I, I just don't really understand yeah. anything about right, it. Right, but the basic analogy I'd use is there's two horrible... Li- right, it's like two kids. Horrible? you go going with horrible, are you? Yeah, to describe uh, to describe Hamas and the Israeli state, I think that's fair. Okay, Basically, you're going to get shit off both of them. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. All right, uh, then. At least if you pick a side, yeah. one of them thinks you're great. No, no, wait till, wait till the end of the analogy. Nope, right? I'm keeping it at the start. Right, if you, have, like, if you were a teacher and you had two little kids who were like horrible little shits, neither of them follow the rules, bully in each other all the time they've been kicking off for fucking years yeah but one of them 16 and 64 and the other one is five and has downs right that's basically the equivalent of which one's doing well in school though and which one's doing really bad in school if they're in the same class i think uh i think the the i think israel are doing better at school (laughs) in this analogy yeah because they have one yeah exactly yeah yeah (laughs) the palestinian school's been bombed (laughs) What do you, what do you think? Why they've merged the I don't know. I'm I'm slightly concerned, just for your own safety. What? What, what, what could I have possibly said that? 
to a five-year-old with Downs. Yeah, and I'm saying that you shouldn't pick on five-year-olds with Downs. You should leave... This is your analogy. You should not keep Downs children in an apartheid state, is what I believe. Oh, God. Is that... This is the one. This is a good haul, this. This is the one. This is... This a... is... I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it, boy. <laughs> Do you know what? When... <laughs> When Laura coming on a hot one. Mm. When Laura Kunersberg's off, yeah. I don't know why you don't get the call. How does he pronounce that, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> We're not onto the racial slurs bit yet. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of racial slurs, <laughs> what we're just going to segue from that <laughs> into the racial slurs thing? It's the beginning of the episode. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to okay. be a tricky one. Yeah. You were saying something before that was a mate. Wait a minute. I need to reframe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I need it's to reframe that slightly. Speaking slightly. of racial slurs, you said a great one. I'd never heard it before until so you explained it. I didn't even know who it was about. Yeah. It's not often you hear those clicks in a word nowadays, is it? But my God, it brought it to life. No. So... You were saying something that you read a news article. What was the news article? I won't go as far as a news article. It may have just been a meme, but it was at a business where they'd sort of put a poster up. Well, they had put a poster up, and it was to imply that they were allowed to nip out for a racial slur. Right, rather so than, rather like than a, a stab. Like, yeah, you yeah. Go outside. You just <laughs> nip out for a quick end kind of thing. Wow. Just. You ought to have had a long afternoon. I'm off out for a couple of peas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is mad, isn't it? So when, when you say it like outside, like you've got to have like an enclosed area for this. You can't just be. Well, you the... Yeah, you can't use the smoking area, in it. No, you can't. You can't just be it's out on more the street. Three walls, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've thought of something, but I can't say I, it. I was wondering with it. Do you reckon? You know how inside hospitals and that, there's a button you can press that'll make the sound of a kid coughing in some hospitals outside the waiting areas and that. But like, please don't smoke here. It makes me ill. <laughs> I didn't know this. Have you never heard that? That's from a button, apparently, like they can press behind the desk really? inside. So I've heard. I've never heard this. What? So there's like an announcement that in hospitals going, oh, not in sm- the ho- outside the hospital yeah. doors and that. You like can hear over like a net. tannoy thing. Yeah. Well, you just hit <laughs> like that. Just <laughs> that's mad. And they have a little button to be like. Apparently, oh, there's a button that someone's watching and they can press that when someone's there trying to guilt trip them into going and standing outside of. What, They're already smoking outside campus? an hospital. Nothing stopping them. Do you know what? You can't make it bleaker. Than I that. saw when I was in hospital. The smoking area is oh, always full. I looked, going on about Because I looked outside the window um, and I could see. And literally... It, was, seven, it wasn't a window, it was a bubble. From <laughs> seven... <laughs> when, no, when I was you in the... You could see through your shell. When I was in the respiratory ward and was up high on that thing when you came to visit us, uh-huh. you could see the smoking area. At the, and 7 a.m. in the morning till 9 p.m. at night, fucking full. Yeah. Would well, you not reckon cool. that's for the people on the respiratory ward to be like, look at what's caused this for a lot of them? Because that's yeah, going to be that breathing that conditions. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Aiming the beds you know at what? it. Trying to make, why put two us, and two together for them. I wonder why they gave us all telescopes. <laughs> when I, when I was You're just lung- there focused on the school, just beyond the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the lung ward and I'd had like, open lung surgery. The guy next to me had had a biopsy of his lung or he had lung cancer or whatever. On the lung ward? Yeah. He woke me yeah. up at 3 a.m. What the guy next to him have? Somewhere over his lung, I think. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the guy next. What to did me... he have for lunch? What are we doing? Details. Lungs. <laughs> <laughs> so he woke me up at three a.m. to ask me for a lighter. I'm like, mate, Fucking you, feel, you shouldn't be smoking on here. And also, don't wake me up for that. I've not got a fucking lighter on me, have I? That's incredible. That that is that is how deep fags get into you. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but like, fucking out like so. Right in this, they must have like a shelter. For the slurs. I know nothing more than the picture I saw. Right, Tom, can we Google this, please? I'm sure this will go well. Yeah, uh, if we yeah. go, uh, don't do it around children because they'll grow up to want racial slurs as well. <laughs> do you reckon there's... breaks? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what I'm Googling? I am trying so hard not to say something really funny that I've thought of. They have, like, posters of people with, like, But I'll, I'll give you a clue. Like, I'll give... happen if you say if racial you slurs? I'll give you, I'll give you a clue some... of the pun that I've just thought of. Okay. Uh, it relies on what happens if you try and quit. Do you have to take nicotine patches? Right. Oh, no. Don't finish that. <laughs> but I thought yeah. of it, and I didn't say anything. Well, that's progress. Thank well you. done. Well done, Freddie. Well Thank done. I'm gonna, I think you get a little, you get a little clap Thank for that. Thank you. Freddie only hinted at the racial slur, everybody. Well done. Well done. 
Just made everyone think it, though, didn't you? Well, <laughs> no, because I wanted the credit for being smart enough to think of it. Uh-huh. But I didn't want the uh, backlash of actually saying it. Right. But you also want like credit. Like a doctor dot book. Yeah. Kind of thing. Like, you've made the picture, but you're like, I'm not going to, you can, yeah. yeah I, that's I, an avenue for you, though. Yeah. What, racist dot to dot puzzles? Well, not dot to dot puzzles that's... as such, but like word puzzles, but all of the answers are just grim. Like, this word no. search, there's a lot of four-letter words in it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we're not going to give you the words, but how many of them can you find? <laughs> you. I imagine a dot-to-dot dot that's just a racial slur. God, the that's Dead amazing. Men puzzle book. It does sound like an idea. <laughs> like, there's a lot we could do. We could have a little crossword. Yeah. Uh, we could have, instead of Where's Wally, it's Where's Choo Choo Steve. Yeah. Where's Willie? <laughs> yeah, Where's Willie? We'll do it with Naked Martin. Yeah. Where's Naked Martin? I made, oh. I think I've spoken about this before, but I had a Madeleine McCann Facebook page a long time ago. Uh, you you've know. never said this before. So you know the old joke, like Madeleine McCann, hide and seek champion 2008? Yeah. Uh-huh. I invented that. And I put it on Facebook. Right. And I had this page. This, of... this is such bollocks, by the way. This it's is not... such. This is such, ah, oh, my dad invented Fanta. Yeah. You know, like this is, this is like a, a liar seven-year-old would say. This is true. This is true. So I did it at a uni comu- on a uni computer. And I thought I was going to get in a lot of trouble. And one of the, I had lots of pictures and stuff. And one of the pictures I had was I made a Where's Wally? And there was a tiny little picture of Madeline McCann in it. <laughs> it was called Where's Maddie? Got in a lot of trouble. Got a lot of death threats about that. So you had a lot of yeah. pictures of a young girl that had gone missing, saved on a device somewhere. Mm-hmm. Well, it was on the uni computer. Yeah, so he oh, used a public right. computer to hide his tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's clever. In that, a this less is, dodgy way. Well, this is like the how he got the job of, here. This is like, <laughs> like he knows what he's doing. This is like the early days of Facebook, so he had my name on it and stuff. And someone Fuck found my hell. address and was like, trying yeah. to kill me and stuff. It was pretty Yeah, bad. he deserved it for that so, one. Oh, yeah, it was really bad. Yeah. So yeah. You, you're claiming that you invented Madeleine McCann, hide and seek champion 2009. Yeah, because yeah. no one else could have got to that joke at the can same I, time. Maybe somebody else invented it as well, but I also. That is. my headphone volume, please, Tom. That is. Total bollocks. Yeah, absolute um, bullshit. Like, um, I, I'm sure you had a little Facebook group, but I don't think you were the first person to get that joke. I maybe wasn't the first person, but I definitely thought of it without hearing it before. Well, well done. No way. No way that you, you invented it. You can't lay claim to it. Yeah. Why not? Someone had to invent it. Yeah, it's not you. It's Why not, not? you. Because it just isn't. <laughs> yeah, but you can't just go, I invented light bulbs. Someone had to. You yeah, know? but that's been documented. But here, and it also- sounds like you, Rob. You're you're doubting it, but you sound jealous. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just. The, I'm, there's I'm, a different I tone to it. I just find idiocy annoying. Yeah. That's that's what it is. There's no way you invented it. And also, it's like I'm the one who does the Battle of McCann jokes around here. I um, I t- I'll tell you what though, it's led me nicely on something that I want to talk about. If you get up uh, the email more racial send, slurs. Uh, no, no. We're uh-huh. segueing past that. We're going past it. Uh, if you Which go one down, would you say keep, going down. <laughs> keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Click on bigger sly. Yeah. So. This is something that I... I would like to say, though, if I did have a soundproof booth outside of work, there's a, there's a couple of times where... I used to work in a very global industry, right, in, like, distribution. There's a couple of days I would have loved that. Oh, There's a couple massively. of days I could have really used it. Why? Because you're interacting with different races or... Interacting with all sorts of people. So there's a couple of days where maybe I'd had a particularly tough negotiation and I'd, I'd love to just get it out. You know, sometimes you've had a bad drive, you know, you want to get it out here. Yeah. Yeah. There's... Is it bad if you come up with slurs that only you know what they mean? No, I think that's loads of fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you just come up with a word like jobalob. Jobalob. Yeah. It was worse than I expected. <laughs> Who does it sound like it'd be for them? Yeah. Sounds like maybe Flemish because the f- they're going to sound like Bill and Ben. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have enough slurs, the so Flemish. If you went, no. if, exactly. They've been went... getting away with it for too long, haven't they? Mm. Let's say you worked in <laughs> a... Northwest Europe area. It's just... <laughs> so it goes working... untouched, doesn't it? It does, those fucking jabalabs. You, you work in a, a, a Belgian waffle shop. Yeah. And some Flemish people have come in. Right. And you're, you're more from a French background. Yeah. You know, the country's divided. And then you come in and you see them and they're like, oh, I don't know what to get. And you're like, fucking are we up? Zutalos, shove it's, your seashell chocolates up your ass, you jabalubs. It's two minutes to five. I leave at five. Can you please just pick and fuck off? And they're like, oh, I don't mm. know. I'm all Flemish. Fucking jabalub. Jabalubs. You fucking jabalub. Fucking jobbies. <laughs> Flemish is already quite an horrible word to call. So I, know that, I know that's the real word, but yeah. Flemish sounds like a horrible you word. You spell it with a PH and a G yeah. for some reason. It's called them Flemmies. To make it cool. A lot of silent letters in that word, isn't there? What? Flem. Yeah. yeah. Perhalegum. Yep. Is that how you remember it? Perhalegum. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that should be this slur for him. <laughs> you perhalegum. Fucking perhalegums. <laughs> I'm happy with Jabalobs for him. 
Yeah. Job will obviously. I'm going to write it on a brick yeah. and throw it through a chocolatier's window. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go do some spray painting tonight. My I family, a watch shop. My family just wanted to come here and sell cheesy fries in a cone. <laughs> you come up with a racial slur. Why, we've already got a good one. No, you, you come up with one. Uh, come on, if I'm going down, you're coming down with me. You uh, fucking jabble up. Uh, conk. 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 You, you really reached far with cunts, didn't you? Yeah, no, it's too close to that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you literally took about eight steps back in the alphabet. I was just trying so I wasn't even thinking of cunt because I was just trying to not think of one that's already a racial slur. <laughs> I was just trying to not go, actually, just have a little think and then just say one. Well, like, and then was... trying to claim that you made it in 2008. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I invented that, though. It's fine. <laughs> so speaking of Tom's absolute bollocks, right? I had a thought today, and I was going to... Um, bring an accompanying video with it, but we can't play it, right? We could edit it in. What is the biggest lie yeah. you've ever heard someone say? Like something where you go instantly, yeah. that is bullshit. When you said you were going to keep the weight off, <laughs> it's like not happening. I never at any point said I was going to. In fact, if anything, I've been You said you were going to. to try, which is also not true. Yeah, that that isn't true. As soon as well, he's, he has done. Yeah, but he's still on his weird meds. As soon as he's off his medication, it's going to be like a starting gun on this fucking <laughs> eating Iron Man that he's going. I'm on. gonna I'm gonna sneeze and just go back to eighteen and a half stone. Hundred percent. It's gonna go a choop. There's gonna be people outside Red Hot Buffet just like he's coming. There's gonna be a glass of water shaking. <laughs> I I once knew a girl uh, whose name was uh, Nicole. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> Uh, she came out with total bollocks yeah. all of the time because she didn't really sort of fit in with our group of people. Yeah. She didn't really have anything to offer. She was very dull and marathon like, runner. What? Sorry, ran marathons, didn't she? Uh, she was so much the opposite of that. <laughs> Big girl. So, yeah. Right. So um, I was thinking maybe injured. You know, just... <laughs> Opposite of a marathon runner, you know, paraplegic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was, that's the opposite of a she marathon runner, someone who can't walk. Just a, just a head and a torso. That's all she was. Yeah, she was and a she's, bubble. And do you know what? Even though she was a head and a torso, we still held it to the standards of everyone else. We were like, stop lying, you fucking stump. Um, we know you didn't go out last night. How could you? <laughs> you fucking little jobber lob. You've not moved. So... Um, she once said, right, in conversation, and, and she swore by it, she double, tripled down on it. Yeah. She once said that she drove, and she lived on a hill, right? Yeah. She drove up this hill, right? And then she forgot something from her house, and she was like, oh, I'll just walk back and get it, like rather than driving around. Got out of her car, didn't put the handbrake on, and the car rolled down the hill, right. rolled round a corner, and perfectly settled in her driveway. See, I thought for you, the unbelievable bit was going to be someone didn't use their car. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to end there, man. Someone walked instead of getting yeah, in their car. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, that would blow his little mind. Yeah. I can totally see. Yeah. But a car yeah. rolled down a hill, yeah. round a corner, and perfectly settled in her driveway. It's... It's not the most unbelievable bollocks I've ever heard. It is like, it's out there, but it, it's within the realms of something that is possible. Muscle car memory. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. hell. You need to sit over there. <laughs> That's very good, fellas. Uh, like, that was good. That was good. Uh, I, I've heard worse bollocks from my mate Ben, right? And like, we still rinse him for this, right? Like, he. He claimed when he was going, he rides motorbikes, right? That bit's real. I mean, if, if Ben was Tommy, he claimed the fucking mountain was named after him. <laughs> so he was he he, uh, he was riding his motorbike one night. This is his story, right? And he, he was coming up to a, a roundabout and a car, like, came at him. So he had to, like, swerve and he ended up hitting the roundabout and uh, his bike flipped over on the front, flipped over two times. He flipped backwards the other way, landed on the bike, and rode away. What? That, that's, that, that's, he genuinely claimed, double flip, flipped the other way, landed on his bike, and rode away. But how how is he capable of flipping backwards if the bike's flipping forward? He said he was like sort of flung, flung in the wrong direction. 
you do know though if that happened he's riding off going thank fuck that happened no one's ever going to believe this <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. would be such a tragic fate if for like 20 years we've all been like oh did another backflip over a roundabout of you and he's like I actually fucking did <laughs> I can't wait to tell my friends about my near death experience you've all gone fuck off Ben yeah like no one's believed him forever I love I love fucking small town liars though it's great like, I love see it. you don't get them anymore because of the internet and camera phones oh, and you shit do like i told you about epi mick the guy who used to come with the pub i worked in epi mick yeah well he, he had epilepsy so uh like... well, i thought it was going to be allergic reaction like he <laughs> gets people with pens and no. <laughs> he claimed he had about 20 seizures a day but he was in that pub all day every day and i never saw one but he did once show me his prescription it ran to four pages so i was like well let's sum it up he, uh, he he managed to replace his uh, seizures with racial slurs. That's yeah. <laughs> just oh, weaned no. off them. No, like, they, they were all. Oh, they were one of the same. Were they? They were already on that course. What about you, Tom? Have you? Uh, what's the biggest lie you've ever heard anyone say? Uh, the, this sound desk will be really easy to use, and it'll be really helpful for us. <laughs> Look, as long as it's fucking recording, there's also a backup run, run, running, and we can edit it in post. Just stop panicking like a little fucking spacker. Yeah, it's just that the levels are all really weird and keep going up and down for without me touching them and stuff, and it's really weird. <laughs> Have you ever had a liar, uh, Jack? We had one at school who would just chat shit all the time and you knew most of the stuff that came out of his mouth wasn't true. With you bringing up Madeleine McCann before, he, he was convinced that his dad was heavily involved in the Madeleine McCann case. Yeah, he was in Stockport. I don't think I don't no, think anyone a, was heavily copper, involved in the nah, Madeleine McCann case. As a copper, his dad was a copper or something, he would say, yeah. and then he would say, Oh yeah, my dad's really involved with it, and he would go on about something to do with bubble wrap in the boot or something. But he'd bring that up. That was like his trump card. Bubble wrap in the boot? Yeah, yeah. So something like, to do with that. Saudi managed to get away with it. They had bubble wrap in the boot, me dad says, and, and all this. And like, Kids do love bubble wrap. Yeah, you don't I want to chip a kid. I love, no, I love the idea that they didn't wrap her up yeah, and just threw her in the boot. <laughs> she was just, just so and just preoccupied by it. Like, this is quality, this. Pop, yeah. pop, 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 pop. Yeah, it turns out Madeline was autistic, so she yeah. sat there for six hours. Yeah. Weirdly, she didn't even touch the real present. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> popping the bubbles. I'm <laughs> surprised. <laughs> Like, if I was a policeman and I was investigating a high-profile case like that, yeah, and there was information that didn't get out in the newspapers, I don't think I'd tell a child. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be like, oh, you know, you, your kid's like, did you have a good day at work today, Daddy? He's like, yeah, here's some details about the case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you tell your friends. So like a 12 or 13-year-old yeah. lad as well who's just... Does it, you don't need that at that age. And it is a load of stuff about a dead kid. <laughs> Just yeah. Bubble wrap. Don't, keep, that yeah. under, keep that under your nose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking hell. That's a class one. Yeah. 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 What do homicide detectives... Sorry, what? Homicide. It's when, it's when they only kill gay people. Yeah. Like the pusher. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like the Manchester pusher, yeah. Um, what do homicide detectives tell their kids that they do? Because they, they can't go like, ah, oh, just... You know, chase murderers. Yeah. Found a corpse that had been raped today. <laughs> eh? Hey, it was a big one. Yeah. Two departments involved. Right, good laugh. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever catch him. Anyway, good night. Daddy's got a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> and we only actually convict about 2% of them. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Most of the time, we just call the woman a liar and get on with our days. Anyway. <laughs> Why are you not eating your tea? <laughs> I think they'd probably just say they catch bad people. Yeah. You, know, yeah, you keep yeah, yeah. it vague. With no, but when the kid misbehaves, though, it's good, isn't it? Because you'd be like, fucking Dodgy Teddy's going to come round. <laughs> Dodgy Teddy from down the way, he's going to come, he's going to have you. Rather than saying, oh, I'll call Santa and he'll take a present yeah, off yeah, you, you're you go like, on oh, you're going to get fucking bummed. Yeah, you're going on, you're going on bad Teddy's list. <laughs> Me and your mum are nipping off to the pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're nipping off to We're the off pub. Some Back pass. doors unlocked. <laughs> we'll see you in two hours. What does what do like? Murderers... He will come down a chimney, but in a different way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you think murderers do the opposite? What, what opposite? Well, of what? tell like, the kids like... the police will take me away if you yeah, misbehave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I don't know if they're that open about it with their kids. Like, I don't know if they go, you know, they don't want the kid going like, my dad's a policeman and my dad uh, works as a builder. What does your dad do, Timmy? He's a murderer. <laughs> to be honest, I can't believe that this conversation is about dads and you haven't sat this one out. <laughs> <laughs> Mine could be a murderer. He's killed a load of people, I'm sure. Oh, you must have because he worked in the army, didn't he? He worked in the army, yeah. He was he was a Royal Marine commando. Yeah, worked so, in the army. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's made it sound like he filled the vending machines. <laughs> it's like he, he was doing quite a lot of the active killing. He wasn't just like cleaning up and then at night polishing a few off. 
How many people do you reckon your dad's killed? I have no idea. Is it fine? No, I haven't seen him for fucking 15 years. Yeah, too busy killing. Yeah, yeah too busy killing. Depends if your childhood counts. If, it, if he hasn't killed loads, he was shit at his job. Like, it should be, like, a lot. Like, shit at being a dad, he might have been dead. Yes. What if that's why you've not heard of it... him, though? Because he is shit at his job. No, his job is being not found, so I would argue he's very good at but it. But his job was also possibly not getting killed. Yeah. And would you know if he'd been killed deep Ooh, undercover No, I somewhere? think someone would get in touch. I reckon? think, yeah, yeah, one of it, like well, you, me uncle or something would get in oh, touch, fair. I reckon, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm probably down, down the list of next of kin, do you reckon you are? I'm not that far down, I'm his son. <laughs> or like emergency, it works. Con- or emergency contact. I don't think I reckon... he's like written me out. I don't think he like writes to hospitals <laughs> going, it... don't tell me son. I reckon... if he died, how it many wasn't people like... will know before you? He was just absent. He wasn't like actively disliked me. He just fucked off. I reckon the person that works at Spa is closer to his next of kin than you are. Yeah. Like, he's, he's seen him more recently. Yeah. 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 But, like, I, no, right. My dad's killed loads of people. Shut up. <laughs> now you sound like one of the liars. <laughs> yes, exactly. No, and he's a Roman in commando, mm. and he went to Bosnia. Do you reckon he'll leave you anything in his will? I don't think he had anything. Last, last time I heard, a he diary. was bankrupt. Really? Yeah. How do you get bankrupt from being. Because they must pay Royal Marines commando. No, actually. Google how much a Royal Marines commando yeah, gets paid. Uh, I reckon it's a, it's got to be 40K. Do you want to know what's that's really made. bad and doesn't support my he didn't specifically dislike me argument? He bankrupted himself in legal fees. He's trying to see his other daughter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are not next to yeah. King. Well, he had full access to me and my sister and just couldn't be asked. Yeah, yeah called it like 40k. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was doing fine. He just spunked it away. Yeah. I tell you what, though, you're not a great Romans commander if you go through the legal system to see your daughter. <laughs> just turn up in the bushes with yeah, exactly. like, just, like a load just, of face paint wear, on. Wear a balaclava, black yeah. up, and then just go and do yeah. your thing. Ultimately, black up. Yeah, <laughs> that's sort of what they do. Uh, I don't think they do like the lips and the gloves and that, but like you know, they're, they're in the you know. I know what he means. Yeah. Do you know what is? I, so this is totally um, kind of related. But speaking of the army in a broad sense. Me and Rob did a gig together on um, Saturday night Mm -hmm. and we went out for a drink with a mutual friend of ours Mm -hmm. and we went to this little pub and they sold Help for Heroes Pork Scratching. Oh, it was (laughs) so funny. I reckon they just sweep them up from a minefield. (laughs) (laughs) Mine's got a dog tag in it. (laughs) The ones that they supposedly used to rub on the bullets. (laughs) It's just <laughs> hell for heroes, pork scratchings. Such a wild snack, isn't it? Mm. I bet they sell shitloads of those in Kent. It was all, all of the fucking help for heroes scratchings. Yeah, I just I stuck to a bag of UNICEF crisps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I have an Oxfam Scotch egg, please? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, just really, it was just bizarre, wasn't it? It was bizarre, yeah. Absolutely bizarre. Speaking of killing. Yeah. Okay. You've got some dead things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we should talk it. about what you actually do. Yeah, you're a you're a bad taxidermist. We'll go with <laughs> a bad taxidermist. Yeah, because when I say I'm a Believe taxidermist, yourself, ones, mate. Nah, because when I say I'm a taxidermist, the ones who are much better at it than me get a bit upset. Right. So because it's just do they, they? They used to. When I first yeah. started out, I used to get messages and weird comments written under me stuff from other people that do taxidermy and that. There's some that are quite accepting and like it, and others are a bit. You're stepping on people's stuff. It's a very niche business, and it? it's a very small sure. like table you're you... sitting on. Well, well, let's play a video that shows the kind of thing. If you go back onto my email, I'll get this it'll open. be the quickest top one. Uh, before you do the big reveal, we'll yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll watch some of your work. If we go ahead, oh, you got a couple of rat pencil oh, cases know. I've made. They're made out of real rats. They're lined on the inside, <laughs> and they've both got pencil sharpeners up their arseholes. So you can, you know, look at that bit of. Uh, Double, double sharpen, twist it. it, it does work, it's just because I want to, I'll show you on this one. There you go. Look at that, mate. Give us a follow, repost this, help me get more followers. That's the funniest bit for me. Give the funny, the, yeah, the funniest bit is sharpening a pencil case with dead rat's arse and going, give us a follow. Like, yes. <laughs> I would, absolutely. Like and comment, guys. Always thinking about the socials. Well, we both brought that video yeah. to the podcast before Jack was confirmed as a guest. I love That's that. That's mint. How did you get into it? I misunderstood a university project. <laughs> He's doing maths. <laughs> <laughs> this pencil's blunt. <laughs> <laughs> if only I had a sharp and I knew where it was. <laughs> so what was the university project? 
I was doing 3D design and I had done a little tiny bit of taxidermy in the summer holidays before to kind of show off to my girlfriend. Yeah, as you do. Because so, I, so I, you can. Well, you we know were, what women love? Dead <laughs> stuff, when you bring home it? dead rats. Well, mine does. Yeah. So we uh, we looked on eBay at weird shit just to pass the time one evening and then we was, I was looking at taxidermy going, I could probably do this and do better because I'd worked in a butcher shop from about 13 to 14 and at this point I was 21. So I'd been a Saturday lad and I'd quit at the butcher's by then because I'd gone what to uni. What is your favourite cut of steak? I would say probably sirloin. Oh, nice. Ribeye is nice, but it's easy to fuck up when you cook it. It is right. It is easy to cook. But whereas a sirloin, it. you can't really ruin that. See, thing. I prefer fillet rather than sirloin, but I also really like bavette. I don't know bavette. I think if you pre- if you bavette? say you prefer fillet, you're uh, an ignoramus. It's just uh, expensive. Uh, it's not one of the better ones. But also, it's all murder. Yeah, he's we are going to love what's in he's here. A oh, like, I, 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 like, I'm well up for this sort of shit. I, I won't eat it, but I'll have a pencil case. Oh, yeah. I don't eat it, but I'm yeah. more than happy using the body as decoration. Well, I have Use like, it more than once, I guess. Yeah, but I imagine like these aren't being bred for this. There isn't like Not some this taxidermy. specifically, no. Yeah, they're, they're... they're bred to feed to like snakes and yeah. birds of prey and that. Yeah. I just cut them up instead. <laughs> So, so wait, do you? How do you get hold of these then? Do you... I buy them dead from pet shops. They sell them frozen for snake food. Right. Okay. And then because I used to be a butcher, I know how to take apart an animal with a, with a knife. Albeit now it's a much smaller knife. It's more Such of like an arts and crafts scalpel. Being like, because I used to be a butcher, I know how to take apart well, a body with a knife. I, I used to be a butcher and I used to be a gardener, so I'm good at dismantling bodies and digging holes. Yeah. That's like my wheelhouse. <laughs> what a skill set! I and he went to stationary box for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> You just need to get really good at like uh, fires as well. You can just get rid of all the evidence. Yeah, I used to enjoy a fire as well. There you go. Just, You're yeah, perfect. All, yeah. Absolutely Sweet. sorted. I just took. I must have took one turn just right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? One yeah, of them yeah. was just okay. Someone was just nice to me. I think at just the right time. Oh God, you are one tiny finger poke away from a really bad serial killer. I can feel yeah. it. Yeah. Thank God you've come down on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. You'd get found and caught instantly because they'd look at your CV. And they go, gardener, <laughs> butcher, taxidermist. Yeah. Mm, I wonder who killed Mrs. Jones and shoved a pencil sharpener up her ass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's this dude. Well, you'd have to go off brand for the killings, wouldn't you? Yeah. You Disposal of the body. Yeah. You can't be taxidermying your victims. Of course, you're going to get caught. <laughs> this is weird because in the spleen, we found a note that said like and follow. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be Jack. Holy shit. If you were going to be a serial killer, what would you like? What would you want your. You know, like Zodiac or what, the what do you want? You... Yeah, the exactly. Taxidermist. Yeah, exactly. Or Skinner Man. Just the bad Skinner taxidermist. Skinner Man. Principal Skinner would be good as well. Because yeah. think of the SEOs. The Sharpener. <laughs> the Sharpener. I like Principal Skinner. Yeah. Quite hard to Google, though. That's the problem. You, you know, you're going to be blown but you out could the ha- Yeah, but it's up there. Once you start getting in the papers with it, yeah. and people are already searching Principal Skinner. It's catchy. The Simpsons yeah. and that. If you, you had a sidekick, you could call him Superintendent Harmers. Yes, me. Yes. Bring See? along a little child, teach him the trade, like yeah. fucking Joseph Callinger. That is true. Not enough serial killers have sidekicks. I've always said this. They yeah. always do with a little mascot. Yeah. Why do heroes always have sidekicks, yeah. but never serial killers? Well, they have henchmen. Yeah. I don't know if serial yeah, killers do. You're thinking penny, of villains. I'm thinking of villains. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm thinking about, you know, serial killers. Like BTK. Do we... Yeah, obviously, it's just another weakness, isn't it? It's someone else who can blab. You need to find someone who's very committed. So that's why a child's good. You can really fuck them up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then Maybe when they, they get too bit, old, you can kill them. them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know what? This <laughs> is basically, <laughs> this is the opposite of the film Kick-Ass. Uh-huh. Because in that, it's a guy training that girl to be an assassin. They should make the film where it's a guy training a serial killer. That's yeah. a great film to make. Is it Leon yeah. that film? Oh yeah, Leon the Assassin, of course. Yeah. I don't know if he trains. I've only seen that. Yeah, he does. He yeah, does yeah. pretty much. Yeah, and it's All also right. it's also weird because he's like in his thirties and she's like twelve. So and not he's like, let's, with... let's have a platonic relationship, and it's like mm, mm. maybe not. Yeah, before the show, Freddie just pitched one of my ideas to me, and like not content with that, he's now pitching the plot of films that already <laughs> exist. Yeah. yeah, so my idea that I <laughs> just pitched... changing the color of the costume. No, no, we're basically, just... I pitched a great idea. No, no, don't about tell what the idea to... is because we'll yeah. tell them. So it's it's basically shut up, Freddie. It's about How going to northern. Derby? Shut the fuck up. It's about going to northern town oh, <laughs> and finding yeah. the good bit in them. Yeah, this bit again. <laughs> So anyway, what? shows a dead rat. Yeah. Shows a dead rat. Shows some of the stuff you do. Fuck right. the rat. <laughs> yeah. What, what, are the, what are these? These. Oh, I was going to save I, these I, for in a second, but oh, we're going to these. Hang on, there's a lot of bubble one. wrap you've got there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to drop breadcrumbs in it. <laughs> That's part of the fun of being the serial killer. <laughs> right, got so... I've got a little bit of peri-peri sauce underneath it. Should we start with this? Fingernail, that. That's yeah. odd. 
What is that is an Everton one? shirt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God! What do we think to this? This is a glove puppet I've made out of a fox's head. <laughs> <laughs> I put a little squeak in there as well. Yes, yeah, a nice touch. I tried it's to nice initially touch. put it in there, but I can't get my fingers in there and make the mouth move. So I've just added a little bit of string so you hold it in your palm like a That's cheating smart. way. But smart. That. Do you just want to have a go? Yeah. Yeah. I, fucking hell. Oh, oh, there's something wrong about this, but I love what it. What do you mean there's something wrong about this? I can. It's, Freddie's it's... got a semi, is what's wrong with it. <laughs> like, he would absolutely wank himself off with this. Hi, Rob. Hello. 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 Look at that. Look at his. Right, okay, so here's the thing the eyes aren't real. No. No, <laughs> no. no bro, no. no. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say to that. You're saying that like that's like a, but like a, a revelation. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've How just seen you, this. What are these eyes here? Uh, uh, them ones are bouncy balls, mate. Bouncy balls? Yeah, yeah. Chopped on bouncy balls in right. half for them. Normally, I'd um, googly eye stuff. Okay, that's the most that's disgusting pretty thing grim. I've ever said in my entire... So you oh. won't eat meat, but you will... <laughs> that's the closest... You that's if you've got the skin head. in your mouth, rinse that's... your mouth out because yeah. there's stuff on it. Brilliant. Did it's I old, just... though, so did it should just... be okay, but... Did you just tongue? I didn't tongue it. You rubbed it on it. I, I was like this. <laughs> I thought you were trying to get off with it, so I just smushed my head. I was sort of like hitting it, Edward, and I was going to pull away, but you just smushed it into my face. <laughs> That's the most dead animal I've had in my mouth for ages. Well, you've broke the barrier, though. Right. Now you might so as well I have, have to a go rinse my mouth, though, do I? I, 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 I would recommend it. It's probably not good for you. To <laughs> right. Also, you've had Freddie's fingers in your mouth. Yeah, I'm going to go rinse my mouth. Just a I little... thought you were trying to kiss it. Well, yeah, I was hinting at it. But I I just have actually... some liquid death. I'm going to have some liquid, some liquid cum. I'm going <laughs> to rinse my mouth. <laughs> Should we carry on? Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Right, okay. You asked for eyeballs. Uh, eyeballs. So these are my heads of tails. Little baby chicken eyeballs and mouse tails. One's happy, one's sad. Oh. My God. What are they? The chicken eyeball. eyeballs. Baby chicken eyeballs and little bits of mouse tail to make the mouths. What? And, and you've put it in resin? Yeah. Wow. That... Where do you do this at home? Like... Oh, I don't do it at home. You're not allowed to do this sort of stuff at home. You get a bollocking off of uh, different governmental bodies, it turns out. Really? Yeah. So well, well, Why are they... Why? You're just not allowed to. I don't know. It's, it's going to be one of them things where some weirdo's done something at home, caused a big problem, and now there's a rule. <laughs> some weirdo. <laughs> some weirdo, yeah. It's a big shout. So uh, where do you have looks to do like it? I'm next in the bubble. I, do it. I have a studio. I run a studio and do it from there. So it's oh. like an office space. So it's, so it's got to be like, you've got to have a slick. license to do it. Uh, they have to know that you're doing it. It's not like a thing you keep around with you, like an FBI agent about being, it's yeah. all right, I'm a taxi driver. You're scooping a dead fox <laughs> off the motorway. But... Commandeering vehicles. Yeah, I'm yeah. a taxi driver. <laughs> These are fucking sick. Just taking dogs in the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we got... So, what... so where do you do it then, sorry? At my studio. I rent out a studio rent space. Out a studio I used space. to have one which was maybe a fraction of this, probably from where Rob sat to where I am. And then probably that wide to the wall there. It was initially that with a freezer, a table, and a chair. And then I've got a big, a much bigger one where I can actually, oh, ironically, man. swing a cat. <laughs> do you make? Do you, is is this your full time? Yeah. Thing then? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It Holy took me about shit. two years to get to it being a full time job. I, I was also doing other things on the side at, the, at yeah. one point, but yeah, about six years I've been doing it. Yeah, he's a vet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yes, that's a weirdly inspirational story. You followed your dreams. Yeah, man, yeah. You followed your disgusting, disturbing <laughs> nightmares. Yeah. Well, yeah. what yeah. else you got? This one's a bit cheery. I call this one a sausage, man. I've made his pubes out of duckling skin. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't be a sentence. For anyone <laughs> listening to the audio, please watch the video of this. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's you. quality. It looks like you now you've lost weight. <laughs> It's 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 exactly the right sort of thing for like a hanging up in your car. That's isn't it? what I go for. I try yeah. to make stuff that I think people would want to use, innit? Yeah, I'd have that. Because having yeah. ornaments is pointless. Christmas, Chris, I was going to say Christmas tree. tree yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's a, the top is of a fairy. That's genuinely great. And the little the little poop pubes poking out of his pants really really say it off. Well, I came, up with, the, I came up with the pube idea before the wig idea. Yeah, it's 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 really well composed. Thank yeah, you, yeah, thank yeah. you. Beautiful. There you go. Give you that back. All right. It's a bit uh, like Beetlejuice. Yeah. 
Could you make a beetle juice out of a beetle? What, like the the little black fellow? Yeah. What? I uh, I don't I don't know if that'd be okay. <laughs> That's beetle Gary juice. Coleman, you're thinking of? No, I'm. No, you're thinking juice. of. You're thinking of the one of how um the Stern show. No, you know beetle juice with Michael Keaton. Oh, the film? No, no, no. I, I don't know. I. <laughs> you know, you never heard of beetle juice. I've never watched it. No. Uh, it's a film. It's, it's it's like a black and white suit, and then yeah. No, it's it's never one that I've watched. It's there you go, that guy. So you'd want that made out of a beetle? Yeah, just for the pun. Maybe, yeah. I sell beetle bits. I've got butterflies' asses in jars at the minute on my website. <laughs> I don't Wait, know butterflies, butterflies had asses. Is, can, can a butterfly twerk? Can you I bomb a butterfly? So. You, yeah, if you could shrink yourself down. Yeah, I with Freddy's thought. dick we could. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, butterfly asses. Uh, but, but butterfly bum it might be under. <laughs> I can't believe this. There we go. They are. What? Bug bits. <laughs> so you've got butterfly arse, wingless butterflies, beetle legs, grasshopper head. Now, Amazing. And I, it must be harder working with them, mustn't it? Because it's because they're so Oh, small. yeah. There's a reason why all these ended up in small bits in jars. I'm a very heavy-handed bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so these were going to go in <laughs> frames and in jars as full insects, but yeah. Yeah. I uh, obliterated most of them. <laughs> you've got to be very, very what's, delicate with insects. What's Fucking the easiest great. animal to carve up? Rats. Yeah. And you can get quite a lot out of a rat as well. I quite enjoy trying to see how much you can make out of a rat. Right. Yeah. What's, what can you get out of a rat? Oh, yeah, so what, Your eyes can, light up, Jack, up. in a way that I'm not yeah. comfortable there's with. There's not much in life that... This is going to sound very depressing, but also very happy. There's not much in life that has ever made me happy, and this does. Yeah. Like, cutting up dead animals, for some reason, I think it's fucking mint me. <laughs> There's a there's a certain part of the process which I really enjoy, right? So you've you've the bit where you shag it by the sounds. No, 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 no. no. This is going to be used from... in a Channel Five documentary in about six years. Yeah, there's going to be a dispatches and there's going to be like doom music over it, yeah. and it's going to fade to grey after you say that. If you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, why not sign up to Patreon? It's patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod, and for that you get an extra episode every single week. But Freddie, I can't afford three pounds because I'm an internally impoverished little spastic. Well, there's a free trial for internally impoverished little spastics. That's good. So for seven days, you don't get to pay anything. You can just oh. come in, have a look round, see if it's for you, and then fuck off. What happens after that seven days? Do I definitely remember to unsubscribe and yeah. not pay any money? <laughs> okay, cool. Patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. You'll remember. We hope you're enjoying this week's episode of Dead Men Talking. And I don't care if you are. Here is a little sneak peek of some content from a previous Patreon-only episode. If you enjoy it, sign up at patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod. Does it classify as rape if they are dead? I would say... All right, okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> it's it... a victimless crime. No, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I don't know, don't, don't know about that, are, you, are both your parents alive? Yeah. Grandparents? Uh, some of them. If I raped your grandma, uh, your grandma's corpse, mm -hmm. if I fucked your grandma's corpse... <laughs> yeah. Your answer wouldn't, and even with your che cheery disposition, your answer wouldn't be, wow, well, there's no harm in it. At the end of the day, victimless crime, isn't it? Victimless. I, I, would, victimless. I, I would actually say, I'm glad you did it when she was dead and not when she was alive. Yeah, that, that's, that's, I guess, I, I guess I was, better. I was like, I knew at some point that's the Freddie most... was going to rape my grandma. <laughs> I'm just glad he waited that's until she was dead. That's the most glass off full way of looking <laughs> at things. <laughs> yeah. At least you didn't I'm have glad, to go through that. Yeah, I'm glad my grandma's not alive to see this. Yeah, there is a, there is a third option of her just not being raped. So yeah, yeah, that's the anyone, ideal. Did anyone consider that? That's the ideal, but yeah. she was raped. I'm, I'm, I'm so, sure. so, so if I said, phone call right now from the police, ring, ring. Um, hello. Hello, hello, Tom. Uh, your, hello. Your grandma's been raped. Oh, no, that's bloody awful. I want to well, that. Well, no, what he'd say is uh, that's less than ideal, apparently. It's less than ideal. It's not perfect. <laughs> Is she all right? She's dead. Oh, bloody hell, that was a bad rape. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was actually dead and then she got raped. Oh, well, why did you say? <laughs> Start with the good news. <laughs> bloody hell, I'd be glad of a rape once I'm dead. It's actually technically not rape. It's not rape at all. She's dead. She's not even a person. Yeah. Well, I hope Freddie had a lovely cum. <laughs> Maybe cheers you up, yeah. yeah. One of my favourite parts of it isn't like making them or doing the videos or all like that. One of my favourite parts is is quite 
repetitive and I like repetitive motions, but it's uh, That'd when be autism. I think apparently so. Yeah. I've never been diagnosed, but apparently, I'll do it right now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so when you've got the skin of the rat and you've skinned it and dried it and, and cleaned it off a bit, once it's all dried, you've got to peel the flesh off with a scalpel, and I find that fucking well satisfying, mate. Really, that's so your comfort satisfying. blanket. I love that, mate. Why is it satisfying? Is it the does noise it, come it off? makes, the feel it makes? It's like you know when you know like that sort of sick pleasure when you peel skin from down the side of your nails and it goes that little bit too far and it looks cool and looks like that, but it hurts like fuck. Yeah, it's yeah. like doing that, but it, obviously it doesn't hurt you because it's a dead rat. Yeah. yeah. So you weren't popular at school. <laughs> nah, not at all, bro. <laughs> One of them that people wanted to sort of be around but not really talk to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know those. The, the, I think I was more so observed I know those than anything One of those else. Where, you, where all the other kids go, just leave him be. Yeah, I, let's, I, let's I, see what he's up to, but yeah. don't engage with him. I reckon I would have been nice to you in case one day you came in with a gun. Or like, in case this happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, be nice to him. You don't want to be on the wrong side. <laughs> so you, <laughs> He knows how to dig holes. <laughs> what's, the, what's the maddest thing you've done with a rat in terms of taxidermy? Mm. Not uh, sexually. I don't know. There's all sorts, man. It depends where your line is. It's hard to pick, work out. Yeah. Normally, I'm quite good at it, but I can't work out where your lines would be. I we don't really have lines. I once extended a rat's ball sack with another scrotum. <laughs> that was really hard. So you grafted a second scrotum? Sewn, yeah, yeah. So just I, give I was, it a longer ball Yeah, bag. yeah, because I wanted it to stand on its back legs with a scepter, with, with a mouse's head on the scepter. Just with massive bollocks. And then I thought its balls need to be bigger, mate, so I, I made its bollocks bigger. Uh, just looking at the hunter canvas on your website is... <laughs> yeah, that's one of me rat people. <laughs> it's a rat with ac- um, what, like action man legs, basically. Yeah, yeah. I like how it comes in two sizes. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's for the canvas, isn't it? You know, you've got to give people options. Oh, it's a canvas. Actually. Yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. So it's got a uh, that little, what's the little sack called bindle made out of mink, yeah. duckling feet, a duck's head on it, and a sheath made out of it's its amazing. tail. amazing. Do you but, have to have a license for this? Uh, he asked that before. You've got to, it's, yeah. it, they have to Do know what listen? you're doing. Yeah. Do you want to just fucking listen for yeah. a minute? Listen like, to the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, drifting in. Sorry, <laughs> how did you get into taxidermy? <laughs> But Joyce, to finish that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Like, what else you got in here? All sorts, mate. This is fucking cool. So class. this is a We little... are going to bankrupt this pod- podcast, by the way, buying this shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is a little chicken's heart in a dinosaur. It's like a bit of a cutesy <laughs> thing. But... A chicken's heart in a dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Chickens used to be well. Yeah, chickens They're used like to be dinosaurs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And plastic is kind of a dinosaur, isn't it? Because you make that from melting down old yeah, dinosaurs. Fair enough. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could say that. I would have thought. Relative to the size of a chicken, a baby chicken. Oh, okay, that makes yeah, more yeah. sense. Because I was gonna say that heart is tiny. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Unlike yours, <laughs> yeah, mine's enlarged due so to got... complications. Due to being fat. <laughs> That's exactly what the doctor said. Due to That's complications cool. with being fat. Yeah. A fat heart. Oh, uh, <laughs> we've got a complicated BMI. <laughs> we've got the easy. Or... <laughs> a lot of numbers. <laughs> Like yeah. pie, yeah. ironically yeah. pie. Well, pie caused it. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, man! So these, no. I brought these as gifts for you. So if you oh. want them, oh. you just can have them. That's just genuinely touching. Pick amongst yourselves which ones you want. Uh, I'd the... like the one with the feet, please. Okay. Yeah, they yeah, are. Thank you. That's beautiful. I call these me hairy danglers. <laughs> so what are they for audio listeners? Uh, so the hairy danglers, they're mostly made out of just oh, different oh, lengths you. of. Uh, you want that one, yeah? Yeah, please. This is yeah, going so in my car. It's rather sweet, actually. I'm going to put this in my car as yeah, well. Yeah, that's it? lovely. So lovely. what is this? What's it made of? Your one, Freddie, is made out of a bit of duckling skin. That's the yellow bit. I recognise the duckling skin from your little sausage. There we go. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'd left it on there for you. <laughs> this is the weirdest one we've ever done. <laughs> this episode. It's so, there's so many, so many sentences I've never heard before. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is so a possum. So many brand new sentences said today. This is a possum that I've turned into a toaster. <laughs> I've made, a, I've made a rabbit into a toaster. <laughs> Stop oh, it! Get it the rabbit the most, you have it to make, go on Google. It, it he makes up the most ridiculous example he could. And you're like, done that? Yeah, yeah. It got me in the paper in a, in a story, and I think it was in the Daily Star about Donald Trump. <laughs> Something to do with him oh meeting the Easter Bunny. Oh, my God. That got me on the local news in Devon, that. <laughs> and when the woman start, stop, uh, introduced it, then it shows the, like, the VT clip kind of thing. And then afterwards, put, put there was it like up. a three-second pause where go, the woman go looked up. terrified. Go back and go up. BBC. Go up. Look how happy you are in the Daily Mail thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> That's fucking glass. So that one's duckling skin. Uh, with rat skin. 
So the, the grey and the white media. is rat skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they all have got a bit oh, yeah, of a mix. Yeah. Apart from yours, unfortunately, Tom, I thought I'd make a plain one and see if you... Because maybe having the toes and the beaks was a bit too much for people, I might yeah. have thought. So, right. so I wanted to make sure you saw... So is yours rat? Yours is rat. What with a rat? fake tooth. We rat with what, sorry? A fake tooth. Oh, yeah, I'd wondered about so that. So mine's, yeah. mine's duck... Uh, Duckling skin and rat skin. Yeah, and then the, uh, the two top halves of a baby, ch two separate baby chicken's beaks, because I didn't have Brilliant. any bottom halves left. Oh, and wow. What, what's mine? Yours is some baby chicken toes, rat skin and a fake tooth. Do you know wow. what? Fantastic. Wait, wait, wait I've, got, I've got a question. Okay. You Just had, one? You had, you had two top halves of a, of a beak because you didn't have any bottom halves left. What are you doing with all the bottom halves that you don't need the top it's, halves You for? can use the bottom halves to make funny looking open mouths. Right. Because okay. they're flat, you can make them look more so open. they're like more useful than the top halves. Well, it depends what, what you're You know what you're for, a bit like? You know Native Americans, how they use every bit of an animal? Yeah. I suppose. Yeah, I don't that, think they yeah. use them for like a laugh, though. No, yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. They're not like it's doing not really illegal. Yeah. It's a, they'd have been a lot more popular. Practicalities and afterthought. Yeah, yeah. They might have stopped them getting genocided. <laughs> what, if they'd gone... Well, if they're a bit more of a laugh. <laughs> if they're oppressors, while well, they're pointing their guns at them, like, hey, put your guns down and look at my funny pencil case. <laughs> That's your Native American voice. Yes, yeah. my name is Sharpening Rat. <laughs> how did yeah. you make that? That'd be a weird yeah. thing to see, though, wouldn't it, when yeah, you're giving I, birth, if that's I'll how they the child? I'll tell you who American colonizers didn't kill. Chief Knock Knock Joke. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Unbelievable. They are a bit more of a laugh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Chief Crossing Road. <laughs> Well, this couldn't be a more thoughtful gift for a vegetarian. Oh, I'm dead pleased. I'm delighted. Thank oh, you. Dead I genuinely got in my car. That's fucking class. Was he? Yeah. What uh, else we got? This box next, is amazing. Not you. since Becca Goodwin, I would say, has a guest brought in a box this exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Stunning. What do you mean by box? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is me insanity mirror. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. When you, I, feel like I bet you've looked into that a lot. I feel like... I, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. All as we call it, a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm going to look into this mirror and it's going to be like a dog on fire or something like no, that. No, no, no. Oh. oh, it's just a it's fat, like a, it's it's like just a a fat man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a vanity mirror, isn't it? But insanity mirror. Yeah. So it's duckling skin on the inside for when you're feeling down or anxious, you can open that up and give it a bit of a hey, rub. And when that. you're feeling down. I know yeah. what I'm doing, isn't it? It's like I do it as a job, Freddie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, there you go. That's you can lovely. Have that. Oh wow. Uh, these... Can you get these in full size? No, I'm looking to a bathroom renovation. <laughs> It'd be a fucking big duck, wouldn't it? <laughs> we need we need to show these to people who are on a lot of drugs. I would love. Well, that. thankfully, oh. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Fuck it. Do hell. you take a lot of drugs? Nah, not not I no not now. <laughs> not now. I, the, I I used to smoke a lot. And yeah. then I stopped because it wasn't it wasn't good for my brain. Yeah, After a few yeah. years, my head went. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Did it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did it really? Did look around. <laughs> yeah, you've got weirdly enough, started this once I'd gotten sober. Yeah, when yeah, you get yeah. sober, you've got a hell of a lot of time on your hands. Yeah, like you. you do you, you know what? You've I got always the heavy vibe of someone who used to do a lot. Of I always you know, fucking yeah, yeah. say this every week. I feel like I say this about addictive personalities. You can't get rid of an addictive personality. You just, you just channel thing. it into something else. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. your addiction has gone from a lot of weed to mm. a lot of bodies. Man's well, a lot of you weed. also <laughs> said the autism thing before, isn't it? Yeah. I also get obsessed on stuff. I used to be obsessed with chickens, so I used to get baked in my garden and just sit and stare. At, I used to have like 120 chickens at any given time. Yeah. And if it started We're to fall below now. that number, <laughs> I started to feel a bit like on edge, so I had to get more to keep it around there for some reason. Really? Yeah, if you I had less to... than 120 chickens, it was unstable. Not, it, it wasn't like an exact thing, but it was, an, there was, it was like there was an amount I enjoyed knowing I could see. Yeah. Right, but I didn't count them as such. But I knew how many. No, I used to breed I mean, them in it, and I yeah. I didn't really breed them for profit or out like that. I just uh, I just genuinely materials. wanted people to have chickens, right? And I thought that that was something that I should do <laughs> for a while. <laughs> okay, I, I used to have an aquarium. Yeah. Okay, how many yeah. fish? Uh, not 120. <laughs> I mean, what a small tub. I had about 15. Uh, if it ever got below that number, ah, uh, then I'd I'd be fine. <laughs> Did you make anything story. out of fish? No. Just, Have you uh, made anything out of fish? Yeah, sometimes I'll take, I'll put them in resin like these bits here, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, I don't have any on me though, but I attach uh, mouse legs to them and rat legs because it just makes them look a bit more complete, innit? <laughs> <laughs> You're basically doing what evolution couldn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah where it failed. And yeah. 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 <laughs> Stepping yeah. in no, where I'm God's with him. failed. I'm yeah. with him. I'm, I'm, yeah, I think this is a good idea. I think so too. Have you ever had an animal and you go, can't do anything with that? 
Uh, I once had a, a, let's call her a friend. She was another artist in the area. And I don't like saying other artists. It makes me sound like a cunt, but... Uh, I've, so, I've still got an horrible was, taste um, in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'll be Foxhead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be tingling, Shouldn't have kissed it. Yeah, all right, I'll wash it out with the taste of cum. <laughs> and she once rang me up and said, I found a pigeon for you. And I went, I was like, oh, buzzing. So I went for a walk and found this dead pigeon, popped it in a carrier bag, brought it back, but it was covered in ants and I couldn't really do out with that. <laughs> No, there must be a level of decay after which it's gone. Yeah, yeah, quite yeah. quickly, quicker than you'd think. <laughs> Especially I, I in think summer. pretty quick. Summer's like shit for it. Yeah. Because it's just, stuff's just full of flies and maggots and right. that. We don't want to bring them back to the studio. So if no. you if you cut them in and it's full of flies, is, is that the worst thing you've seen? Yeah, that's why I don't really use roadkill no more because it's pretty grim. Yeah. Like, and once I cut Yeah, you wouldn't want this to be grim. Two of the worst <laughs> smells I've ever smelled. Nah, no, obviously I've got to enjoy it, innit? I don't want to be going to work thinking, oh, fuck it, I've got to go and cut up rats for six hours. <laughs> I'm going to be going, I'm fucking cutting up rats for six hours, mate. This is sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tones. I hear you. you got to love your work, man. you got to yeah. love your work. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the two worst smells is when uh, once I cut through a fox's vagina or scent gland or something and didn't realise, obviously a dead one, innit? I'm not a mental. <laughs> I imagine end. that's what it smells like when you fuck Freddy's mum. <laughs> <laughs> you pleased with that? Yeah. <laughs> And the other bad smell was when I came into work once. I hadn't been in for the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'd been doing something on the Friday. And I came in on the Monday, height of summer. My freezer had clapped out because it was like a 20-year-old oh, chest no. freezer. And everything inside had defrosted in the height of a heat wave last year or the year before. The one where it's like 40 degrees. Mm, it killed, killed the freezer. Everything in it defrosted and turned into this weird, disgusting soup that you could smell. I, I work from a big, long building. And you could smell it right the way down. I, was, I smelled it and thought, oh, that smells like dead stuff. That's fucking weird. Got closer to it. What do you mean it. that's weird? Well, I didn't expect <coughs> I didn't expect to be able to smell it from like 200 metres away downstairs. Oh. And I, I go sure? closer. Yeah, yeah, with sure. a lot of people. And the closer I got, the worse it was. No one downstairs really knows what I do or they didn't until then, I don't think. Mm. And then the people who run the building doing that, there's no problem with yeah. it. It's just I don't get to speak to them. Everyone's there to work. You're yeah, yeah, to yeah. Make yeah. Friends and shit, so... And then I got upstairs and could really yeah. smell it. But the guy came to get rid of it because you can pay like Argos in it a fiver to take it away yeah. and get a new one. And he so had, you just, you just, I cleaned it out and that. Right. And it took me ages to clean it. I was going to say, then, I thought you just like Argos. You were like, that's your fucking problem. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I even went to a florist to get a load of the old flowers off him. I was like, I'll give you 20 quid for all your old flowers to put around the building to get rid of the smell. And because yeah. air fresheners weren't touching it at all. So I thought if I can hide the smell. Rather yeah. than trying to eradicate, with do you like know what that would have looked that. like? It would have looked like you were leaving lo loads of immemoriums. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> or I found like roadkill, but it was a person, and yeah. I also nicked the flowers from yeah. the scene. <laughs> what are you like walking around a zoo? It's it's like a bit of a busman's holiday, really. You can't yeah. really settle in it. But you just have an idea. Do you not look at like a good bog brush holder? Yeah, yeah. like well, you, you, you say bog brush. You look at like a. Oh, let me see the bog brush. Oh, fuck off. No. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Thank you. That's I was really joking. funny. joking. <laughs> Every time we make a joke of the most ridiculous thing we can think of, you just pull it out it's, of the box. I, I, it's kind of beautiful. The way to try and beautiful sell Beautiful is not the word I know. What, what animal is it? That's a deer's leg and a bit of duckling skin just to tidy it up at the end. <laughs> just to tidy you it up. You love a bit of duckling skin, don't do, you? Yeah, it's yeah. a great material. Yeah, because yeah. you can have it long like that or you can have it short and you get like a nice grey and yellow colour to it. So yeah. it's... All right, okay, I'm going to give you this. I need to warn you, though, it's pretty fucking freaky to hold. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? Oh. Don't you put can... that one in your mouth. Put it, oh, I don't like put it this it. way. I don't like it. There's a, there's a weight like to that. it. There's a it... weight to <laughs> it. That's... Put it down straight away. I just, I don't like that. I just, it's a, it's so much a it? leg. You it's... can you can very much feel a tendon. Yeah. Feel the tendon. No, I don't want to. Stop being a pussy. Wanna, I don't feel the fucking tendon, you little bitch. I am a pussy. Feel the tendon. I'm a vegetarian pussy. Don't rub the tendon on me. Stop rubbing. Ah, ah. Stop rubbing me with tendons. You can really feel the tendons. Right, I'm chucking a No, no, no. no whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. whoa. Don't throw the fucking leg. It look like oh, fucking Chris Basham. Fucking oh. Trotter thing. The hoof. It's fair. You know what I mean? It just feels... Yeah, yeah. There's, a, th there's a weight. Feel the tendon at the back. Yeah. I'm, you know what? I'm really excited for our Nando's later. <laughs> feel that tendon oh, at the I'm back. I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gross, isn't it? It's good. <sighs> I really like it. Thank you. I'd have that in my house. That's I'm thinking uh, legit. Uh, I, yeah, I don't, again, my missus is also vegetarian. I don't know if it's going to fly around hours. That's all right. <laughs> Not yeah. an awful lot of the stuff he does flies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so do you... Some of it never did. No. Some of it didn't grow that old. No, never true. got the chance to do what <laughs> yeah. it was meant for. Those little baby ducks, they never quite made it to the flying stage, did they? Do you go like, 
when you when you do you look at a bog brush and go, I'm gonna make a bog brush out of an animal, or yeah, do you look at yeah. the animal and go, I'm gonna make your leg into a bog brush? Uh, a bit of both with that one. It was I had some deer legs knocking about, <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. And then I was in Wilco. <laughs> And I saw some toilet brushes and I thought, you know what, it would be funny if you try and play on the idea of no one cleans off the toilet brushes in the sink afterwards. So if they had to look after it, it'd have some skin on it. So they got to look after it because I really found it funny. The idea of someone every time they use it, they rinse it off under the sink to keep it clean to look after it. So I thought if you cover it in skin, you'd have to do that. There you go. Yeah, you, don't, you just don't want that in the sink. I'd yeah, rather I'd rather yeah, have yeah. a bit of shit in the little pot next exactly, to the toilet yeah, yeah. than in my sink. Is, isn't there, it? Yeah. is there an animal that you dying to work with but for whatever reason you can't like a lion I'm very something. worried to say though know, with your sort of listener base in case I end up with a box coming to the studio 100% with... someone will hook you up yeah like, exactly I said I wanted to try DMT someone just gave me a load it's amazing great. yeah I, I, I tried to get a bag of dead cats off the local cat sanctuary a few years ago <laughs> And I said a to them, bag. A bag. A bag. That's a not bag. a measurement. A bag of dead a cats. Well, how would you measure them like a bucket of cats? <laughs> <laughs> a wheelbarrow. A trough. You know what I mean? A like, like, like <laughs> a I, <laughs> that's how they sell monkeys, isn't it? That. <laughs> A bag of ca- Why did you not manage to get hold of a bag of cats? They didn't take me seriously, Freddie. They thought it was a prank caller, and I got I got pretty pissed off with them then on the phone. So they started being arsehole, saying, look, we don't have time for you these prank phone calls. We're very busy. And I was like, look, I'm willing to give you money. I don't want them for free. I'll give you the money, but I'm not giving you the cost of a, a live cat that you're after because you've got to pay to dispose of these, but I'll, give, I'll donate some money to you. And I'd like some of the cats. I don't mind cutting their heads off if you want me to do that. If you don't want them to be recognisable, you can keep the heads. <laughs> The and they hung up on me and then won't answer yeah. the phone to me. Have you ever made an art ago. installation out of dogs? <laughs> no, I've never made yeah. anything out of dogs. Nah, that'd be lovely if we did yeah. that. That's yeah. a oh. very big callback. I've, always, very wanted big callback. I've always wanted to make a nest of tables out of dog stuff. Oh, yeah. Because you could have three different sized dogs. Yeah, I'd like a chihuahua. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. Here's what we should do. Yeah. We should both show him pictures of our dogs yeah. and then let his mind decide what, what you do you make out of them. All right. Yeah, Go that's... On. Mine That's are, a horrific thing to do. Mine would be further up the nest, I know that. Like, Freddy's is going to be the inside table. Mine would be one of the, the larger do ones. Do you do so much it's... dog stuff? Never got, say... never got my hands on a dead dog. No. I, suppose, I think... When mine goes, I'd consider it. I think you'd regret it once you get it back. Because yeah, it'd be you would sad never get, it... You'd what? never get the whole dog back off me. I'm going to nick a bit and use it for something else. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I couldn't is help myself. Tell it is. <laughs> You know, I, I wouldn't want to upset you in it either. I don't want to upset I people. Appreciate with it. That. Yeah, like that's nice a, I think the way to do it is you've got to say, you've got to agree before on what you're going to make out of the dog in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, even yeah. then, I would still be like, I could take a little blend out of the middle of this tail and reconnect it, and they'd never know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. There you go. That's my dog. What would you, what would you do with him? Imagine him on either end of an accordion. <laughs> <laughs> But like you put down the down the lengthways, down lengthways, and you have the little buttons sort of in his chest with holes cut out with his fur shaved down in that area, so you can weird old Yankovic your dog. I imagine him in an accordion. I'm never gonna be able to look at my dog the same way. So, so he's mine, right? He's about that big off the ground as well. He's quite solid. He's a bit what, chunky. Sitting up or standing? That's, if he sat like that, he'd be about there. He's a big solid lad. He's like half staffy, so he's got a bit of thickness. Thin legs, though. Little skinny legs, but chunky body. So I imagine you could take down like uh, two inches or three inches through his chest here. Yeah. And I'd, sorry, yeah. Add a little contraption, a bit like this mic arm here. Yeah. And you could use his head, take his head, sort of hollow out the top of his head like Britney Spears with a baby and family guy. And then, so you pull it down and it's spring loaded and a little trebuchet. <laughs> Just from how he's sat there. That is quite a trebuchet shot, actually. Yeah, he's sat like a little catapult. Ready for the siege. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm going to pitch it to my missus, uh, turning the dog into a trebuchet when he's yeah, dead. I'll let you know. I, I would I'm, love to do I'll that. Be, I'll be like, in touch. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a dog, I've got a cat. Okay. Yeah, called Little Brain. This is Little Brain. Yeah. See, cats are hard because I've always wanted to just turn cats into pillows with their heads on the pillows, but that's not that interesting. It's you, gone now. Your screen's gone off. But um, I've got a cat's head on my wall. But I, <laughs> I, was, I bought it to sell it on, but my missus was like, I want that. So I gave it to her for our anniversary. Yeah. It sounds like you found the perfect woman. Yeah, do, you know what, yeah. do you know what I'd do with that? Tell me what you think. See if I could be an apprentice with this. Go on. Uh, pepper grinder. 
that it's been done though on Scrubs. He, Has he, it? Yeah, that's one of the th- gifts that people always post under me stuff. Is a pepper grinder that the janitor made out of a rabbit. Uh, I don't know. Show us him yeah, again. Hack. You hack, Freddy. <laughs> what's, yeah. his, what's his name? <laughs> She's been embarrassed Little by brain. that. Fucking haxidermist. <laughs> I think there'd be a fun part to just sort of, from his, his four legs, take off what is his neck with his head thin his neck down so it's like a tube and then have from the other end so his feet are going the, the right way still and he's still got his tail but then have his neck and his head coming out of his own arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like he's giving birth to You're his own head. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a sort of like backwards or a Boris somehow. Yeah. It's genuinely incredible. It's like it's like that bit in the that Beatles documentary where they like uh, they just riff a song <laughs> yeah. and it just like they just I think it's get back they just and they yeah. just get it out of nowhere. It's like it's, watching you work is the same experience. Your creativity yeah. just flowing out of you. It's I genuinely feel like, incredible. I feel like we're in like Picasso's fucking chambers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're just in his rat era. <laughs> fucking sketch <laughs> Guernica or whatever. Um, what if, else have we got? Is there any stuff. just out of interest because it seems like everything that we say you've either done or tried to do. How many animals do you reckon you've worked on? Thousands? Tens of thousands? I don't know, bro. I've been doing it for, like I say, six years. And sometimes I'll get very into it where I feel like I really have to fucking do this. It's And, then, o- and then other times I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to chill out for a bit, which I've learned to do as I've gotten older, you know, yeah. try and relax with stuff and that and not do it. There's no there's no real reason to do this six days a week. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you're trying to calm down on it, but... I honestly don't know. There's got to be, I'd say, easily at least a thousand, probably with yeah, the yeah. with the mice, because I take the mice's bollocks out in the hearts, and st- I've not made these for years just because they're in what they they're, what they're in. You you know, like yeah. So I was like, I don't want to do that. I didn't realize it may be an issue, so I've not made them for oh, years. I don't want to get sued. Yeah. yeah, but I call them ogles anyway because they look better from behind. So I just put the word backwards. Yeah, yeah. that's very clever. Yeah. That's very clever. Let's have a little look at these bollocks. There you go. Mouse heart and bollocks. And so. Up. There must be out. one that sets Bigger than yours, out Tom. <laughs> in your oeuvre. There what must does be oeuvre some, mean? An oeuvre is like a body of work. Okay. As an artist. Okay. So in your body of work... There Basically must be what one. it means is, is Freddie is a pretentious fat cunt. Yeah. <laughs> there's, okay. there's one... See, it's, just, it's, not, it's not just about sickness. My we oeuvre. Learn as well. Oh, so, my, my oeuvre. Oh, look at me using And the little this. smile gonna... on his face when he got to tell me what it meant I know, as well. He got to feel superior for a mm, second. That's how you feel when you're murdering a dog or whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> just I'm... as I feel its last breath clutch through the, like, <laughs> yeah. the middle bits of my thumb yeah. on its throat. Yeah, uh... That's like me. Oh, perspicacious. Oh, I'm going to oeuvre up some pasta. <laughs> 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 so, uh, what's the bit that you that sets out as being your fucking biggest work like like the bit that you go that's the bit that i'm most happy with yeah, your that's masterpiece my favorite one uh, you can see it on the website on a canvas if you put in uh, i think it would be called the chef or barbecue like bbq but it might be the chef no it's not that that's a weird questionable little uh michelin man statue i found and tried to sell on yeah that's a yeah that's a very questionable that's, yeah it's a michelin weird man. pose for him to the be in man there he is this is one of my favorite things i've ever made so that's made out of half of a rat and I made his pinny out of a mouse and made him a little pocket out of a pinny and made him all little tiny utensils out of various pairs of tweezers. <laughs> and then I made him a little barbecue out of about six different mice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, I, 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 don't know what I, was gonna, I don't know what I thought was going to be the answer. No. I don't think you would ever would have guessed. No, never, never. Wow. Do you get do you get people requesting stuff? Yeah, yeah. I used to get a lot more, but now I t- I just say no because doing like commission stuff's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Because people don't actually say what they want and they expect you to read between the lines, which mm. I, I, I even then also you can't do. Not know what's possible as well. They might ask for stuff that's like incredibly yeah, hard yeah. to do. The yeah. weirdest one I ever got <laughs> was a fella that said he wanted a fox interfering with a badger. And that's how he worded it: interfering with a badger. It, it t- so it's not like, like tickling. Well, like, it, it, it's tickling not bollocks. Woo. It sounds a bit rapey, innit? Oh, the word yeah. throwing in interfering. Yeah. Interfering can't be consensual because you're interfering. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like the, the even though the badger's dead, the badger's not having a good time, innit? Yeah. The fox is up to something. It's a yeah, sly it's little bastard. Sneaky. But then you've got you can't really do stuff with badgers. Is a weird Could grey you put a flashlight area. Not a I mean, you could. You you're not allowed, why aren't you allowed to do something? certain animals you're not allowed to do and sell stuff out of apparently I like got what? told Which it when ones? I started out seagulls and badgers are two of the ones that are sort of protected seagulls seagulls, seagulls are what a protected species what are we protected species. them for they're hard as fuck 
I don't know, but they're a protected species. That's mental. Only certain people are allowed to kill them. I used to live in Brighton. Only certain people could kill those bastards. They're strong as fuck. <laughs> yeah. There was Wait. a guy in Plymouth that used to get about with a hawk. It was his business, like sending hawks after, um, I was going to say penguins, seagulls. Sending hawks after penguins There'd is overkill. There'd be a overkill. fucking mint TV show. Yeah, though, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd, I'd watch bet it. on that. Yeah. <laughs> also, be kind of easy for that penguin to get away, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just go underwater. Yeah, they're not that quick. That's what yeah, makes it exciting. Yeah, but they've got to come back and breathe, Freddy. Yeah, and a hawk yeah. can hover. Yeah. <gasps> what a game! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah all right. I'm we sold. put them in little suits like jockeys, <laughs> so they've all got different patterns. I think this is a you winner. Don't need suits, just get paint. We'll just paint them. Yeah, all right. No, yeah, I already got the suit. It, it would have to be <laughs> non-water soluble paint. Yeah, because it'd be, it'd be nothing mm. worse than seeing your guy that he dips under, then he comes back out the wrong. Penguins quite oily, difficult to paint. And the environmentalists, they're already you don't, you're already going to have the animal rights people on your back. But the environmentalists yeah. won't like it if your paint's leaching into the sea. True, so, exactly. Got, why are we painting the penguins? Just so, so you, you can bet TV, on them Tom, when the hawk kills you them. You know how TV works. You need a visual. Oh, we're having lots of penguins. I've always like one hawk v one penguin. No, no, it's one sided. Do it. You know the hawk's going to win. It's like a late night gambling game that comes on at 3 a.m. Right, and, and right. all the penguins you, you bet on it, and then they go, Oh, we're releasing the hawk in five minutes, get your bets in. Yeah. And you're like, Oh, I'll have 64 in the pink and blue stripes, and then you watch that and you text your bet in, and they release the hawk, and then you're like, Ah, oh, they've all lost again. <laughs> <laughs> and you could have one of them sort of tweet feeds at the bottom, like on QVC as well. Yeah, so people have a reason Come to on, keep 32. watching. Come on, thirty-two. Ah, he's been he's been ripped oh, to shreds. He's, he's, the hawks won again. Yeah, to shreds. Just idiots say. at home keep betting against the hawk. <laughs> I can't believe that you're not allowed to kill seagulls. Yeah, yeah apparently, like, they're, apparently they're protected and that. I know well, swans are. Like, swans are protected, aren't they? Yeah, well, they're just owned essence, by the yeah, king. Yeah, they're someone's property. Yeah, but the the seagulls are like a protected species. Mm. But getting back to your fox interfering with a not your fox interfering with a badger. But the question, I said to him, you can't do a badger, and it was straight away within minutes in a in a message back to me. He said, well, what if the badger was a hedgehog? <laughs> so the animals didn't matter to the guy. It was the he just wanted a fox raping another animal. Yeah. And I was like, mate, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. Hedgehog, if you quite can a ballsy rape, one. Yeah, if you can rape a hedgehog. Yeah, fair play. Yeah, you've risked it all. Yeah. I, and a badger, like yeah. a badger's fucking ferocious. I've still got a horrible taste in my mouth. I'm really. You shouldn't out. have licked the taxidermy. I didn't try and lick it. Stop drinking okay. the liquid cum. <laughs> <laughs> liquid death does not taste of cum. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? So when you get the animals. Yeah. Uh, do you do anything to treat them in terms of like clean them and make sure? That well, they're... I take them for dinner, buy them a nice new outfit. <laughs> yeah, hey, you've been very Before brave. Is a lollipop on the with a toffee hammer. <laughs> no, I mean like, I mean like, do you do anything? Putting your arm in a little cast, <laughs> trying to get them in the back of my van. No, I mean like, do you uh, wash them and like? If they need bathe to, them, yeah, yeah, I do. Like, like that's part of the taxidermy process. So some of them yeah. you, you don't need to because they've been bred for snake food. Yeah. Odds are some of these rats are probably in better condition than like the average cow and sheep are before it goes to a slaughterhouse. Yeah. So these are just these are very clean animals. The fox and stuff needed a good scrub. One of the reasons I don't like doing is you need a lot of space. You got to dangle it upside down and fucking scrub the skins and stuff. Good to know the fox is the dirty one. Good. Um, <laughs> well, it's also though about like five and a half years old that oh, head, brilliant. so there's not really going to be much chemical on there that would be bad for you. So. Right. So it's chemical I'm worried about. Oh, I'm not worried about chemicals. Me. Go. I was worried about like fucking fox aids. So if mate, it's just oh, chemicals, no, you should be. Oh, that, that'll be gone by now. Oh, right. Sound. Yeah. So so next... just, mate, it's not my first time having <laughs> toxic chemicals in me. I'll be fine. <laughs> next question. Go on. How long have you been single for? I've not. Yeah. What? He's mentioned I've, his yeah, missus yeah, like about three times. Will liberal. you listen when we're talking to people? I've been with her for what about six you? years, but what was the joke you were heading towards? Yeah. I was No, that was going to be That was it. the I whole thought, thing. I oh. thought that this was a life that you cannot... Like, even with comedy... He got right? into it trying to impress his missus. Have you just not paid attention to anything he's fucking <laughs> said? No, no, no. I tune the in first and out. thing he said. <laughs> I tune in and out. Anyway, <laughs> even with comedy, right... <laughs> It's, it's one thing to do to... no research, I might not but have we come can here. at least listen. <laughs> just gonna just not come. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's Send you a box world. of stuff and just. He's already thinking about his Nando's that we get afterwards. Oh, we get. Do you want to come for Nando's? Yeah. Oh, oh mate, it's great. Yeah, it I d it's chicken though. I don't know if you you're okay with that. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I'm gonna start yeah, working no, that's, at that's... the desk. <laughs> You've cut this wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He says he wants a full chicken. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't. What's the biggest animal that you've? Fox. Fox. Yeah, yeah, I dressed it up in PPE for a, um, <laughs> um, what did he call it? It was like a, a PPE clothes printing company in Devon. They have it as the mascot. So it's got a, it's got a little eye, um, ah, that yellow ah, that 
yeah. Ivy's jacket, and then I got some little shitty brown boots and then coloured them in with a Sharpie to make them look like Timberlands for it. <laughs> we are going to have to commission a mascot for the studio. Oh, yes. Yeah. Happily. Yeah. i tell yeah. you what. We'll have a think. What's your let's, dream animal? Let's let all the Patreons... Oh, I get it. Yeah, but like, like in the comments, give us suggestions of what our mascot should be, and uh, when, we'll we get, when we get vote. when we get one that's uh, doable and yeah. funny, we'll get it done. To give you some parameters, like rats, mice, yeah, maybe baby chickens, ducklings. That's, Keep it realistic. Yeah, yeah. Don't be like an old cappy made yeah, into yeah, yeah. like a fucking yeah, a yeah, rhino. Yeah, it needs, yeah, it needs to be ro- rodents. Really. Yeah, something yeah, we can yeah. get yeah. older. Yeah, older yeah. Yeah. But it's about what it's doing. What's dead men about it? You know, yeah. it should be referencing something us. Could you do like a ideas. shrew or a ferret or a, a vole? Uh, I, I've done. I think I've done ferrets, but it's all antique ferrets. Mm. I, you can't really get your hands on dead ferrets in it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I've never met anyone where you can get a dead ferret off of. Them. I know a person that can get you dead squirrels and moles but I've done moles <laughs> and squirrels but you, ferrets is a Oz, is an hard Oz thing to do like what a great with day disease. I'm having yeah they're really grey so, squirrels so, yeah so. and they're supposed to I don't know if this is legal I don't know if it's the actual law no not what I'm talking about but uh, not the taxidermy and that but yeah. I don't know if it's actual law I used to live next door to a bloke who had paranoid schizophrenia and he was my mate for a while I used to sit and smoke was it with you? him and that. <laughs> no, I imagine. but he once told me that if you Legally, if you catch a grey squirrel, apparently you're supposed to dispatch it because you're not supposed to re-release them because they're an invasive yeah. species. So there's a there can be quite a lot of squirrels knocking about for people to use for taxidermy. Oh, really? Could you get option. could you get a red squirrel? No, and you a can't grey, use a red squirrel. Ah, uh, wanted them in like a war. Unless scene. they're antique ones, that uh, would be. Could good you though. die a grey squirrel? I suppose. Yeah. I've tried dying rats and it doesn't look as good as what you'd think. It doesn't yeah. take to it that well. Uh, fair enough. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. what we need to get for shoot. A tie-dye rat. Well, we've already got a rat in a jar behind you. Yeah. Like, you know, that's always always been there. A bit, bit work a day for you. It's just a dead rat that's pickled. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, done bit, bit basic. With it. No, it's very basic. Uh, I was amazed that I could just go on Etsy and order dead rats, though. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all sorts. Etsy tried, at one point, Etsy banned me. and did, for? And didn't tell me. <laughs> So what happened was I, I I just after about a month of doing it full starting it full time and quitting my job in the computer shop, I'd I'd selling headsets. I'd stopped that and I was doing it full time and then I didn't get any orders for a couple of weeks and I was like, fuck. Yeah, that's scary. The, yeah, yeah, because I was getting quite a lot and I was like, I can actually stop doing this shit job where I have to stand next to a shelf and convince people to buy a computer they don't need. Yeah. Yeah. And I can cut up rats and be, be happy. <laughs> and I, I was doing and then no orders came in I thought it was weird so I, I went through Etsy and looked at my side of it and it was fine and then when I looked on the internet and searching it through the search and that none of my stuff came up and it turned out I'd broken some of their terms and conditions that weren't very clear in the start yeah. about animal mutilation yet you can sell you can sell statues on there of mice shagging each other made out of mice but if you put things in them cut them up like the the rat people and stuff and make pencil cut sharpeners in their assholes apparently that's a bit too far it does seem like a bizarre line to draw doesn't it exactly and i'm that, perpetually I... banned off imga as well yeah. I can't have an Imga account because of all the pictures of dead animals I posted. Yeah, I'm right. just happy What's that you're not selling Imga? people. It's like an image website. I'm, I'm I thought we were doing slurs again. <laughs> I'm just happy that you're not selling uh, people computers that Costa they don't Rican need. People. And now you're selling things that they do need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Giving some to the people. It's art. You know, like, you know, yeah, it's just, you know, that's much more important. Yeah, I think it's qualified. Is there anything else? In the box? You... I've got fucking loads in the box, yeah, boys. Yeah, come on, let's, well, well, let's carry box. on with the box again. Then let's ask more so questions. So that's but... just a simple one. That's a rat's heart. If you want yeah. to compare it to the chicken's cool. heart, hey, much bigger, isn't it? Yeah. There's that's mouse don't testicles. Give up as easy. Do you want to see some of these? Yeah, I'll have a look at the mouth. That's some mouse oh. testicles. Yeah. In a in a little robot, I call them bollock boys. <laughs> uh, this one's one of my favourite things I've made out of resin. I call them star holes. <laughs> Is that uh, what's in it? The no. mouse's bum hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew. I knew. Yeah, I, I hope, I'd hope you would, didn't it? Has this mouse prolapsed? Uh, I it? sort of puckered it a bit as, it, as the resin was setting to I, make uh, it. I'm already it noticing texture. the intricacies of your work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Real artist. That's fucking great. Yeah. Very hairy. Mm. How I imagine yours looks like. It's way bigger than that. Well, yeah, obviously, it's a scale That model. would be terrifying if your asshole was that, that small. Tiny, yeah. It's just <laughs> massive. explain all of his that's jokes what... about your weight. Yeah, he doesn't have anywhere to go. <laughs> it's just poo string. Yeah. Like a goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have toilet paper. I've got scissors. Uh, <laughs> Snip it off. Uh, what else have we got? That's a heart beak. Yeah. So baby chicken's eyes and beak. Uh, this here is one of my men from Turkey. 
because that's made from a turkey foot. <laughs> it's a little gingerbread man for in your car. Sometimes that at Christmas, horrifying. I sell them on Christmas decorations. I call them festive men from Turkey and put a red and white string on them instead of elastic. <laughs> it's the little touches. Same with the hairy it. danglers. I do festive yeah. hairy danglers with the same little that's, trick. Oh, that's, that's upsetting. Um, that's an intestinal love art. So just a load of mouse intestines in a love art. What mouse intestine looks like? Yeah, if you bunch them up, yeah. You seem yeah. confused like you pictured them another way. Yeah. You're just sitting thinking about them on the way here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just odd. You thought they'd be what, green? Yeah, but you know what I mean, though. It's it's not what you would I expect them to look like your poos. Well, there is sometimes, obviously, there's shit in them, and I'll squeeze yeah, yeah. that out into my palm and then use a skewer to draw with that in a resin and make what look like... You know, if you ever go and see, like, a therapist... And they get you to draw Which a picture. Which you maybe should. <laughs> and then you, you, they get you to draw a picture of like, draw a house, draw the roof, draw the windows, yeah. draw something in the garden. So I draw what would be considered to be the most acceptable picture of like a child's drawing of a house, but draw it with pre-poo, if you like, the intestinal juice of a mouse. Do you um, tell people what you do for a living, like yeah, you meet for the first yeah, time? Yeah, because they ask, innit? What's the usual reaction? <laughs> Some people don't believe me. And then other people, like say when you go to like networking events and that, because it's a small yeah. business, isn't it? You want to try and branch out, which is, I don't know what I'm hoping is going to, I'm going to achieve by doing that with these yeah, people. Wait, who are you networking <laughs> with? Like a local plumber? Yeah, like, yeah. What are you expecting <laughs> to happen? That's not... You go to the pets what at home. What are you going to networking about? So you're hoping to meet the mayor? <laughs> Listen, I have met one of the mayors. I got banned from taking part in anything in one town because of the mayor. <laughs> I think if, just... if you met someone from Pets at Home, that's a great contact <laughs> to have, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. Honestly, I think, like, look, you, you've found the right network now. I guarantee, uh, like, our fans are exactly your market. These Buzzing. Are, these are the people who will buy this shit 100%. Nothing but goths and freaks and weirdos. Like, well, I've, I've made a little discount code for me, code for my website for them as well. It but out. it's not for the dead stuff. It's for my book, Fifty Ways to Torture a Sloth. <laughs> and the discount code is, um, I think it was Dead Sloth or Dead Dead Men. I think it's Dead Men. I think it's only. I'll, I'll check and let you know. Yeah, afterwards. yeah, we'll put it in the description of the episode. Yeah, so they can download it for a quid. Amazing! Yeah. They, you can't fucking say fairer than that. Do you want to awesome. sponsor our podcast? <laughs> I don't want to pay you to do it. <laughs> it's all right. We, we will happily promote Let's you for free. Let's have a look. See mate. what else there is. Right. So uh, this. I brought for your wall of demonetization. It's a picture of my dad's toenails <laughs> on a fridge magnet. I sell them and all because he's ill, innit? And he's probably, we got told he's got like three years to live. So I wanted to start making some money out of him before he carks it. And then it's something to like have him on people's fridges around the world. I, think, I think you can make money out of him after he carks it as well, to be probably, honest. Probably, yeah. Slip off his nipple. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is, that's one of the worst things on the wall. Buzzing. He'll love hearing what? that, mate. Okay. Well, he won't. He'll be more. His second but... toe looks like a maggot. Yeah, yeah. They were rank. He's, but I'm gutted because he started seeing a Shiropodist who's at, he's been Good. seeing a few, but this one's actually started to help him, and I'm mortified because right. I've so I was hoping to get some I'll new pictures. Get... Fucking hell! I'll, I'll, I'll put it. Well, I can't get new pictures camera. now because his feet look better. So we'll have to take photos of all this. He's yeah, fuck. Uh, that is fucking. Right. I mean, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, like, mate. Thanks. That's uh, uh, this is one of me shitting pigs. So do you know, like them ones they sell at jewelers, like sitting pigs. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's uh, like I said, I do the intestinal juice drawings. This is some of the dollops of that made into a little smiley face and a oh, pig's lo- head. Lovely, yeah, cool, yeah. No, that is that is the that is some pickled shit. <laughs> What's your dream animal if you could have any animal? Same with cats. To, to cut up. Yeah, no, like if, if if you could have like a penguin or a rhino or something. As like a that. pet. No, to make into. Uh, I don't know. Um, Monkeys would be pretty good because mm. like, uh, like some at gangly, like an orangutan or something, because you get a lot of a mileage out of it, wouldn't you? You could make loads of stuff. Yeah, yeah. A giraffe? I suppose. Be hard to get up the stairs, though, at work, whereas <laughs> I reckon I could wrangle an orangutan up a staircase. I don't think Orangutans I could drag... are massive, though. Yeah, but you could drag it up I the stairs. An orangutan <laughs> yeah. up like a staircase. baby orangutan. Even an adult one, I could. I reckon I could probably. I, I reckon, reckon I could drag the weight of a person up a staircase. I reckon you? orangutans. Drag are... them. If they're dead, you're not worried about. I them. You might need an extra person, but you're not getting. I a reckon Google. Yeah, exactly. Google how heavy orangutans are. I, I reckon they're at least anyone, thirty stone. If I anyone in massive. here knows reckon? what corpse he can drag, it's fucking Jack. I, like, yeah. I believe you, mate. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't do a giraffe, and he'd <laughs> no. have to cut it up. And imagine all the blood in a giraffe. Where's that's got to go? Oh somewhere, wow! No, it? I'm. I'm vastly, vastly overestimated. Fifty to hundred kilos. I could fucking probably carry it. 
You yeah. weigh you weigh about uh, oh. four orangutans. <laughs> well, put it this way: I weigh more than one. <laughs> Far more than one. No, no, just a couple of kilos more than one now. Mm. And but but the fact that I weigh more than any orangutan is. Its face would make a mint ashtray. Right? That is true. Yeah. What a lovely serving dish. Yeah, like you a could fruit channel bowl. little things into it. What about what about like a frisbee? Like yeah, frisbee. yeah, you could, like but it'd be a shame I don't know to if break it, it wouldn't it lose it. No, but I like the idea of a frisbee that you throw to people and people just go, oh, a frisbee, and they catch it and then they look at it to the right side. Or just in a face. park, leave yeah. it on the yeah. corner. Yeah. You throw that back to us, mate, it's been sat there for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what else you got? What else? Uh, There's in, so you know, much. What's this? Oh, this was another. I know it seems like a lot of gifts, but I didn't have anything else I could do with this. I've been saving them for a special thing I was going to make or an occasion, but I couldn't. I've yeah. not thought of anything, so I I pretend to use the scrotums to make little necklace pendants and they go in necklaces. These are all the offcuts of rat scrotums from the past few months. You've given us a little okay. jar of scrotums. Yeah, Mate, that yeah. is Tom, so thoughtful. I Honestly, I'm genuinely like touched by that. A hundred quid. <laughs> For you to swallow one right now. Don't, don't, no. don't. That would make you ill. Would it? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, don't be liable. Quid. <laughs> 200 quid. 200 quid. Why would no. it make you ill? Because of the chemical I use. You don't want to eat that. You don't want to eat what are the drying and cleaning agents and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a good job that you're here because we <laughs> yeah, would have, he would have eaten 100 yeah. well, it might not. It might not kill you, but I don't think it's going to go down very well. You're gonna. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Two hundred quid. I'm. I'm not doing this while you're. I'm in the room because I think I would be liable. <laughs> Two hundred. I think. Quid, can yeah. you sign something? No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, this completely. is nothing to do with you anymore. You've given it as a gift. This is now our property, which yeah. we are free to do and with I have, what we want. And I have warned. You have warned. <laughs> as a professional, you warned us not to do what Tom Don't is about eat to the do. Rat can you yeah. get your hands on any horse cum? Yeah, we do actually no, need some horse. But I do know bit. farmers, so maybe yeah, I could ask maybe. a couple of farmers. Uh, when we get to three thousand patrons, Tom's going to drink some. Patrons. Three thousand, he's going to drink some horse cum. Five thousand, three thousand, he's going to drink some horse cum. I, I, I can ask the farmers. I know. Yeah, he's going to drink some horse cum. I also know a people at the knackering yard where they occasionally have dead horses. So you could have. I don't know how keen. I don't need they live would be horse cum. If we can just we can have dead horse cum, that's fine, isn't it? Um, I don't know what's worse. Probably easier and quicker to extract. Yeah. Because you can't really film him extracting that, it because it'd be a questionable video, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, honestly, in the grand scheme of things that we have sort of broadcast, it's probably mid. <laughs> Tossing off a horse? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Mid. Fair mid. enough, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to That's save the other bits to the end. Yeah, this is, I brought this back recently because I wanted to have something to show you that you wanted to see and if you had been going yeah. on my socials. This is me one of my reaminites. <gasps> So it's a uh, real ammonite fossil, and then I've made it look like it's alive again by using baby chicken toes to make its tentacles. And googly eyes. Everything's got googly eyes apart from the fox. Which has got bouncy balls eyes. Yeah, I find it takes the edge off in it, because yeah. otherwise it'd be terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's actually adorable. Yeah. I really like that that's one. That's great. Thank Cute, you. isn't it? It's fucking great. I'll hand you that one back, because I reckon that's probably quite fragile, those legs. Yeah. Right. There you go. That's uh, that's the kind of thing you could have just in the side in the bathroom, <laughs> just just at the side, just for people that you don't want to come back to the house again. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've got some taxidermy at my house. I have yeah. actually. I've got, got a um, I've got a rat sat on a toilet seat. Oh, nice. I just forget about it, and he's reading a newspaper. I'll nice. send you a picture. Yeah, man. It's a portable i five machine. <laughs> What's that made out of? Rat's arm. Rat's oh, arm well, on rat a little legs. spring. Yeah, on a spring yeah. so you can high five it whenever you need a little pick me up. They did ready, really ready, well ready. over COVID. Ready? Imagine how funny it'd be if I just pushed this in his mouth again. <laughs> hey. 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 I was trying you to spring pull it, it back. back. Yeah, you can be a bit more yeah. like vicious with it. Yeah. yeah, it's already dead. You can't hurt it. Ah, it's quite <laughs> sharp. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. That's cool. That's cool though. Nice one. Hey, yeah. that's cool, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There you go. Well, it's it's on the side. Side. Yeah, it's the oh. Do you know what? I bet Halloween at your house is fucking class. I don't bother with it. I don't Do bother not? with Christmas or out either. I'm not putting stuff up just to bring it back down again. What the fuck's the No, I know, but Halloween, you could scare all the kids. It does anyway, suppose. just open yeah, your house. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. I just do it on the internet. It's <laughs> <laughs> comfort of my own home. <laughs> this is one of my abominable snowmen. Okay. Now, the fact that you said abominable. Yeah. What's it made out of? Back half of a rat, but with all the legs, but its head's the ball sack, and the arsehole is usually where the teeth go. That's actually one of the few things Sorry that I've made. That I, wouldn't, I've kept. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't touch your eyes after that. <laughs> no, I just. Uh, that is class. Well, that's that's, that's my goes. favourite so far. Thank you. We keep him, me and my missus, in a little <laughs> glass dome in the living room. She's called him Clive. He's wonderful. Is your missus weird? 
a bit. Yeah, but she you, also does a very, mean? very normal job, though. She lives in the real world. Yeah. This is it. This yeah. is it. Oh, it's man, like with Fight Club, isn't it? They all had normal like, they all had normal corporate jobs, and then they needed that. They needed that way of, you know, getting it out there. This is... We're getting near the end of what I've brought. It's, I mean, I've had so much fun. You've delivered. Thank you. So this, I call this one. Uh, <gasps> well, do you want to see if you can work out the name of it? You've got the idea now of that go for puns and stuff. Uh-huh. So what's so this one called? A duck head with big tits. Right. I'm going to go with chicken fillets. No. It's all right, but no. It's all right. It's duck good. breast. That's all right, but no. Go I've, on. I've actually seen it. You've seen it? I've yeah, seen it already. It's very, it's very good. It's a chick with a duck. <laughs> hey! <laughs> So that's a duck head. Yeah. And these are just plastic. Yeah. yeah. I'm just worried with you that I can take anything for just granted. Net. And you'll go, no, this is actually from a baby fucking whatever. And then, oh, look at them titties. Wait a minute. Where's the mouse hand? <laughs> oh, I've never even thought to do this. <laughs> this is me, a mint TikTok. This. That's got to be a clip, hasn't it? Yeah. There you go. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Mouse interfering with a duck. Hey. <laughs> All comes together. There you go. Text one pervert to know another. <laughs> right, where are we? Uh, yeah, incredible. we need to do a collaboration, really, don't we? <laughs> the and dead then, men. Uh, have you got range. that pencil, Tom? Oh, yes. Oh, here we oh, go. Have I brought, oh, I've got a little pencil. Oh, here we go. We but do you want to sharpen? this pencil sharpening for months. Uh, yeah, I'll we, take, do, we do need that I'll sharpening, leave that actually. in. There we this go. one's probably all right to throw. Go on. This is Ooh. mad. So this is a rat pencil case with a sharpener up his ass. Yeah. I'm testing it right now. You th- your thumb's over where the things come out. Oh, yeah. Do it upside down, like upside make down. the way this rat would stand, because otherwise you're going to cover it yeah, in lead. The shavings will drop. Like yeah, there you go. It's worked perfectly. It is worked perfectly. Beautiful. Five stars. Open it up. If there's another dead rat in there, <laughs> no, no, I, I wish I'd gone that far. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's the Ace of Spades. <laughs> oh, little lock it. Yeah. Oh, this is this. I can't look at those toes because <laughs> they put the fox over it. What's in the locket? One of the sides should open. Yeah, Tom is fucking useless at doing anything, is what you'll know. Is it cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> it's a rat's, How it's that's know? rat's ball sack. Rat's ball sack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's a little My bit favorite. of leftover. <laughs> that is. Have you ever tried to do anything with the dicks? I've noticed that you're very ball sack. Uh, the oh. ball sacks are always knocking about. Rats have like the largest testicles in proportion to any land animal. Do they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot for. to use. Well, they breed like mad dogs, yeah, like yeah, rabbits, yeah. weirdly. For spunking, mate, that's what they're for. Yeah. For holding all the spunk. It, is there any animal dick that's workable? Uh, raccoons, dogs, for sometimes foxes. I think they have bones in them called a baculum, but I've never experienced it because the fox I've cut up was a, a, a girl fox, a vixen. Right. Do you know and what's mad is I feel like that you're somebody who has had a lot of mental health issues that has found your <laughs> calling in life and now you're just dead happy. I feel like this is yeah. a man who hasn't had any mental health issues. I feel like you're obviously a weird guy with, yeah. the, with a weird <laughs> hobby. But I think you're so content with yeah. yourself. I am now, yeah. yeah. You're both kind. Of, imagine, like, you're sort of right, but imagine not knowing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you're completely unaware of what's going on in yeah. you. Yeah. Again, probably, but possibly because this of is this is what the power to it, you know. Yeah. This is what the power of finding something that you like doing yeah. does. And mine was fat shaming Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really yeah, that's made me feel text- so content. With that's your taxidermy every week to bully him, and every week I skip in. I genuinely, I pull up in the car park, and I'm like, I'm gonna get this call of a fat cunt in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I, I got to work with a little spring in my step. Yeah, it's, it's mad beautiful. because most people. Could, couldn't do this for any amount of money you pay them. And yet for you, it's like you've never worked a day in your life. Do you know what I mean? or, or you don't yeah. work a day now. No, do you know no, what I mean? No, no, no. Like you're content and it's, it's nice. It's genuinely fucking beautiful. Thank you. Uh, this has been like the most fun. Uh, like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> what a fucking great day. Should we show him a couple of videos? Oh, 100%. Is it yeah, the end with... of the box now? That is the end of the box, right. yeah. We'll show you a couple of videos. So we haven't we, had uh... any videos for a little bit. Uh, thank you for everyone who sent them in. Send them in to 07354 just haven't had any because uh, I lost the phone. Uh, but we've got some today. Well, now, have we? Because Reddit isn't working. Uh, I don't audio. think we need the audio necessarily for these. I think you can just see them. We'll add the audio in in post. Okay. Uh, you're going to get the point with these. So because obviously like gore and stuff isn't going to work on you, right? Like we've got like maggoty stuff that we show people and that. It's not going to work for oh, you. Oh, we could show him the dick. We'll show him the maggoty dick. We will show you that in a bit. But... I thought, you know, it might go in a slightly different way in order to uh, show you some different videos that might try and get you a little bit, uh, you know, 
Right, so okay. here we go. This one's a fun one. This is a <laughs> what is it like? Random acts of kindness. Yeah, yeah. Just people being happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. sitting yeah. stroking it's rabbits. Like, ah, and that. God, yeah, 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 it's alive. Yeah, people uh, living in harmony with animals. This is actually a bit of an internet classic that we've been sent, but uh, I don't know if you've seen it. It's like I, I've seen this years ago, but it's fucking brilliant. So uh, here we go. go on, Luke. This is a Michael Jackson person in the subway. Yeah, he's doing a little dance. I mean, it's not great, is it? As far as Michael Jackson things go, what's he trying to do? It's weird that they always get a crowd and all, isn't it? Because he just walked down. Oh! oh! Where did that come from? How is he a part? How is he a part of the show? I know. Just another guy tried to get involved. I love that MJ yeah. keeps dancing after that guy brains himself. What's he trying to do? He's trying to do a backflip, but the chair moves. Look, watch. Whoop! The chair oh. moves right out from under him, lands right on the top of his head. Look how limp he is, mate. Yeah, he's not all right, is he? No, nah, he's fucked. Wow. Do you reckon he's like part of the show or just like a spectator? That's spectator. just a guy who's just like, oh, there's a chair. I'll do a backflip and that'll add to it and everyone will be like, oh, what a lad, he can do backflips. But what if, though? What if he is a stooge? Yeah. And yeah, that yeah. means everyone's there and now they're all traumatised by it and they remember him forever, that Michael Jackson guy. <laughs> I think it's going to affect career. your busking earnings. I think, think I'm less likely to chuck a fiver in if someone's dead. Like I'm just going to go ten mm. to them rather than worry yeah. about the Michael Jackson The fact guy. he carries on dancing is incredible. Though. Wild, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all he knows. He's just like, well, show must go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. These people came for a show, so you will notice a theme for these. <laughs> these <laughs> just people just dying, but not physically dying. Oh, <laughs> just want to just pause there and just let's play. It. Like I love it when we play a game of what happens next. So what this one to start with? There is a someone lying on the floor. Again, crowd around. It's a show, and someone is hammering breeze blocks with a sledgehammer next to their head. Yeah. Hmm. And this person what is could go this wrong? Person a horse looks, comes. A this horse person, comes. This person looks blindfolded, though. Am I right? I so think they might be. Can we just go forwards a little bit? The person that's hammering is blindfolded. Oh, oh yeah, they are. Yeah. This is the show, so they're blindfolded, and they're just hammering next to him. Yeah, next to them. They've hit all the bricks so far. There is you he, go. Where's he gonna hit on him though? Oh, ankle. Oh, 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 oh. 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 the next guy. Oh! Next guy, <laughs> fucking hell! Look, look at him. He goes stiff. The other guy yeah. went limp, but he yeah, he oh, goes mate, full on. Mint, that... well, you know it's bad news when they do that thing. Mm. Like, when yeah, they do yeah, that, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's been sledgehammered in the head, yeah. in the forehead, and all right on the forehead. Yeah, right yeah. on the far. And there's no give as well. It's not like you've been sledgehammered, like, and there's something behind you. Like, so if, 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 if you've got a pillow, you're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's the problem there. The lack of adequate support for his neck. No elasticity. Yeah, exactly. If that guy had a backflip and somebody just pushed a pillow in front, <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't got anything supporting his neck. Uh, for fuck's sake. Man knocks out two pit bulls to save himself. That's the headline. Uh, this is another fun video. Uh, this one's just a guy fighting dogs. It's fun. Oh! Well, on the exercise. He's on top of, oh, he's he's on doing top it like of, wrestlers. He's yeah. on top of a car and he's just hitting them with he's a... He's dog seizures. I know he's getting attacked by dogs, but still, he's out of the way of them there. I know. There's no need, is there? Bit of a cunt's trick, isn't it? He's giving the dog a seizure. Yeah, it's not even like he's knocked it out. It's just... Yeah. Wrecked wow. it. I mean, it's broken and down. somewhere, no somewhere a hundred yeah. yards down the road, there's an owner going, he's friendly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Someone else going, can I have that for a pencil case? Just <laughs> let him sniff your hand, he'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to make him into a backpack. Uh, and then right, this one's a weight rack. Yeah. Oh, you know what one of those is? Yeah. <laughs> this is in a gym. Uh, this is another one where, like, what could go wrong? Oh. Why is he doing that with his back? So you arch your back when you bench press, but not that much not normally. That much. No, don't you have, shouldn't you have to bench a bit higher? Yeah. And oh, no. Andy's fucked. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. See little tiptoes. Oh. oh, that's the worst place it could be. Yeah, it's on his neck. Right on his neck. I've been in that scenario, but not on my neck, and it's fucking well embarrassing. Having to come get a bigger boy to help you out, uh -oh. but he is on his own. Mm. Uh -oh. uh, and he's currently dying. Here comes the seizure. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. You yeah. know what I think I'd do in that situation? Film it. N no. <laughs> Put <laughs> so it out on the internet. I've never been into as fixie wanks. Yeah. But if I was in that situation, I'd go, well, well I may as well, well try it. This is the best opportunity. Sorry, he said it's embarrassing, yeah. though. Sorry, in the gym. Yeah. Oh, well, he's not in a gym. It's in his look. house, isn't he? I uh, didn't watch oh, the okay. end of this, and I assume someone got him out of this. Can we just scroll down to check he's still alive and we can actually show this? 
it doesn't say. Any source on the app aftermath. Oh, he died. All right, well, we can't show that well, one. We can't show that. Yeah, don't show that video. All right, we just watched the guy die. We just watched the dog. Yeah, <laughs> but no, die. wanking off a horse's mid. That's that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah, saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, All right, just... well, that one's got to be edited out. Sorry, didn't watch the end. This one's fun though. This one will finish us off. Oh right. my god, what's Ivo Graham doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't mean to show you a death. Uh, I didn't know they had those on Reddit. Oh, that's just a drunk backflip gone. Oh, there's multiple angles in this one as well, which is nice. Oh, he's landed on the top of his head. Immediate seizure. Yeah. Yeah. He's fine though. He's fine. Yeah. I'd See, we assume. This is why I never do backflips. <laughs> yeah. You could just flip a tip back and it'd flip you over. But I don't get why anyone tries them. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. Isn't it? Showing what, what, off, innit? Yeah, but what's the payoff? People Everyone go, goes, that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, but, but then they just whenever think, anyone's oh, just gonna totally, do that all the time. Yeah. Whenever anyone's done a backflip in front of me, I've always been this impressed. You go, oh, that guy. Yeah, you go, oh, you've practiced something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, oh, you went to a fucking gymnast club. Yeah. <laughs> Who's asked? You went to a gymnast club. <laughs> That's how you learn backflips. Gymnast club. That's how you learn backflips. Right. And uh, I, they push a crash mat in front. Freddie's first rule of gymnast club, don't tell your parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second rule. <laughs> nice. Hire <Thanks>. Larry Nasser. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what I'd a reference. I'd love to be able to do a backflip. I think it'd be class. Yeah. I'd be backflipping all the way, all the time. Yeah, you would. You'd be really annoying if you could backflip. Yeah, You'd I'd, never stop backflipping. I'd backflip to Tesco. Yeah. I wouldn't backflip home. I'd drop all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some moron. Such a little idiot. <laughs> uh, right. I think we should wrap this up. Can all I right. say, you've been one of my favourite guests we have ever had. I think maybe my favourite ever. This, yeah. this has been so much fun. Fucking brilliant. Come back anytime. Uh, this has been... Class. Very quickly before we go, plug, plug yeah, the website. Yeah, tell people where they can follow you, where they can find okay. everything. So World Around You, uh, EWE Like the Sheep, um, on everything, TikTok, uh, even the fucking weird ones like Vero, but Instagram, Twitter, everything. Worldaroundyou.com to buy dead stuff and books and whatever else. And I've got two podcasts, World Around You's podcast and Truth Seeking. Check all that shit out. Like, I'll just support Jack everywhere. Because look, like, it's weird people like us that mean that Jack can keep doing this for a job, you know? Yeah. Like, we're the reason. <laughs> you can make it still carry on existing, and this is a beautiful thing to have in the world. You don't want this guy working at your subway. <laughs> this yeah. is it, yeah. He's handling food again, isn't he? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I listened to one of your podcasts where you are talking about uh, the history of people shagging animals. Yeah, yeah. And it was very... It, if, if you like this podcast, you will like... Especially, certainly that episode, it was very, very... What good. is the history? I don't know if there is a... Is there a history? It's a very it long was, history. Uh, yeah, it's gone on for... Obviously, it's gone on for probably longer than... As long as there are people really, and animals. Because you don't have to pay them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But uh, this, it was more about like the punishments they get. Because what they used to do was to break the... At one point, to break the person's heart beforehand, they would slaughter the animal in front of them. And then at other points, they would make the animal watch the person be hung and then they would kill the animal. So just bits like that, you know. Do you remember that <laughs> fucking, um, that that uh, village in Borneo that had that prostitute monkey? Oh, yeah, the monkey prostitute, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, there was a village in Borneo that had a monkey, had a monkey in a cage you could just pay to fuck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you laugh? Like? <laughs> that's terrifying bad that we're only just finding that out though isn't it yeah. but it's just a little idea of him there or her there in a little pink skirt with a fag on the go just <laughs> yeah. waiting in the cage oh, knows that what's a car coming window. If, yeah. if like they put in the cage if memory, not even the full door if memory serves apparently the locals also thought that she picked winning lottery numbers yeah, yeah. yeah. and yet even though she could win the lottery they still kept her in a cage and <laughs> fucked her so did they think she was very lucky or yeah. what I don't think they had a magic sense. they have like the monkey's paw in some places yeah, don't they that's what I'm so, like, had a lucky monkey pussy. I could have said, like, getting tossed off by the monkey. They're just like the sixth wish. Monkey dildos. You could make one of them. Yeah. Monkey dildo. Yeah. I guess uh, it'd be fucking. You, you could only use it one direction, though, and it? it's going to either go in really smoothly or come out really smoothly yeah. because of the hair. Yeah, maybe, yeah. It was a very extreme example of the rocking horse winner. And that's a reference to something that. Is... Cool. Well, let's finish go the episode on. on that. Google it. Hey. Uh, anyway, um, before we go, let's uh, do Patreon. Oh yeah, uh, Patreon. Give us money. Forward give me slash... money. Patreon... Give me money. Patreon. Give me money com. now. Go give me money. Patreon. Give me some fucking money. Patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod for literally three quid a month, and it's a seven day free trial. You get and an extra for free extra episode every single week. Loads of special content and stuff. Absolutely check it out. Helps to support the podcast. Helps to keep us going, and we are massively grateful for everybody that signs up. I'm not. 
Um, well, I am, um, and you should be by default. Um, I take you all for granted. Fuck off. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll see you next Go week. Fuck yourself. Bye. Bye.